Hey folks, gonna be getting things started in about a minute. All right, let's see. There we go. So, if I recall, being able to click the game to get the right window active and then hit an NPC, who we went out of our way to. Uh, that would be why there's no volume. I should plug that in so I can get volume. Okay, perfect. We talked to this NPC who told us that we should go talk to the person that we really would prefer to be killing, if at all possible, to see if they know anything about some zone off in the distance that we have not been able to get to, that we are ostensibly supposed to be getting to. And then the game crashed while we were loading into this zone. So now we have progressed farther than we were yesterday. Which I'm sure is a good start to the day. <sighs> Let's see. So aside from this quest, what else did we have to still do? I mean many things, to be entirely honest. Still some other NPC quest lines, but none that I actually knew how to progress. And then I suppose just exploring zones. Mm-hmm. There's a glintstone sorcerer by the name of Selen in Windrig. She owes me for the help I gave her when she was expelled from the academy. Mm -hmm. I asked her to look into the matter some time ago. I'll write you a letter of introduction. Go ask her. Okay. Well, perhaps we might finally get some illumination on why there happens to be three of this person. Okay. All right, the implication here, I suppose, being that someone we've got to go kill to proceed in the quest line. Fair enough, I suppose. Do we know anything about that person and where they might be? 
NPC quest giver who was talking about all of the primary bosses we need to kill. Was that one of the people you were talking about? Yes, it was. I suspect Radan is still there as well, in Kaelin. Oh. I doubt he much resembles his former self anymore. Okay. So we finally got our instructions to go over here at long last. Of which... Where in here would they be? Not at the giant tower. Not over here. Which means probably somewhere in this section or in this town. Huh. So we got told to find a key in the swamp over here. Showing an ad for Elden Ring before allowing me to watch the much better ad for Elden Ring. Yeah, yeah. I guess they need to actually tell you where to buy it. I'm not technically doing that. Alright, so, so let's start, I guess, by going and getting the map. That's going to make everything else after this easier. But then let's get distracted. Whoa! Hello? Teleporting around, are we? No, I'm going to have to be a lot more careful about how I time my swings if we're going to do this. Nope. I mean, I, I definitely got to do it early, but, well, I guess let's do this. Yeah, okay. That's easy. Poisonous mist. Woo! Hello! Woo! I didn't know Krillin was in this game. hops. Alright, so not actually terribly impressive as an enemy, but visually certainly impressive. And nothing. Oh, hello, merchant. What do you have to sell? I don't actually have any money, though. Gravity's advantage. <laughs> and then my starting armor, I believe. And one key, but very expensive. And a map. All right, so we got this big castle that honestly, if I had to guess how this game works, so far big castles with heavily designed interior areas are where we should be going to find bosses. Or we can head back to the swamp and try to find the way into the city that is probably not actively progression. This NPC I think we talked to before. Alright, which means I need to run around here. Oh, okay, cool. Getting invaded in the middle of a swamp. Super don't love that. Millicent. Okay. Off. 
All right. Now can I go back to being on my horse? So that, that isn't going to poison me? No, 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 no. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. Up on horse. Up on horse. Up on horse. Up on horse. Wow, that really should have gone much worse than it actually did. Oh, game. Why? Wait, 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 wait. Why did I get rot while on horse? What happened? Okay, now I need to wait for that to go away, I guess. Not that it act. I must have gotten hit by one of those geysers while the game was frozen. Oh, it's real chugging. It's weird that the times where the frame rate just like drops to two are really. Oh, this isn't. No, okay, I'm just gonna have to teleport and make the meter go away. The meter kept going up the whole time, even when we were on the horse, huh? Let's see if I can hang out for a bit without getting myself spoiled. Well, uh, what part of the game are you in? Yeah, because normally. I must have, oh, I must have rolled into the swamp so the poison kept, or the rot kept going up. Because you do apparently get it on you if it's, if you roll in the stuff. So then even though I got back on the horse, which normally makes you immune to being in the poison, nothing happened. Hello? Commander O'Neill. Uh, oh my. Okay, so that's a stomp. Also, that just did a boatload of rot to me. Whoa, game, 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 game. Oh, we're having some problems today. What is that? Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. Alright, I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do other than just die if I ever get hit by that. So I guess I'm supposed to go in and try to now kill them before I die. Okay, you are tanky, and this is still an area I'm not probably supposed to be yet, is what I'm gathering. If the area is even slightly open, the horse is pretty cheesy. And if you can cheese a boss with a horse, you're probably supposed to cheese a boss with a horse. Although from what I've gathered, it's really hard to use uh, the horse in the later game areas if you aren't a dex character. Apparently dex is the stat that dictates how much damage it takes to knock you off the horse. So if you are a low dex character like me, you kind of get knocked off the horse at a point in the game. Oh, okay, this is really bad. 
why is it so bad today in terms of just like freezing up but yeah at this point if i take one hit i get knocked off the horse and basically die so i have to essentially be nearly perfect with the horse but in some ways it's almost easier to be nearly perfect with the horse than to play it fair at least if the arena is open enough Trick is going to be that absolutely huge attack that I couldn't figure out the size of earlier. Ooh. Yeah, so that one's just the normal size stomp. Swing. Which one is it that you do two on? That's just a stab. thrust that's a swing okay swing can do two oh swing can do three all right but not strongly enough to actually knock me off the horse okay that's got to be the big one surely yeah yes and we get three big ones and i can miss why not one two three Four. Two. Three. Four. One. 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 Two. Three. Four. One, two, three, four, one, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, one. One, 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 two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, one, ooh, a new one, 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 two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, 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 two, three. Four. One. 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 Two. Three. Four. One. Two. One. One. Two. Three. Four. One, 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 two, three, four. You think horses get dizzy? One. All right, what if we just walk you over this way a little bit? Because we're getting a little out of center, which honestly would be kind of annoying. There we go. One, two, oh, one, 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 two, 
one. One. Two. Three. Four. One. 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 Two. Three. Four. One. Two. One. One. Two. Three. Four. One. Oh, okay, this will phase again. Woo! Oh, I see. Over here, behind me. Oh, big boys, too. Oh, more? Woo. Quite tanky. One. Ooh. Okay. Oh. All right. What if we walk back to the center of the arena? You seem really tired, my friend. Okay. One. Two. Oh. One. 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 Two. Three. Four. One, two. One. Two. Three. Four. One. Nope. One. 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 Two. Three. Four. One, two. One. Two. Three. Four. One. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh, that's a different four. Look at you go. Can I? Okay, we can break that. All right. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, Two, point no, one, two, three, different four, fancy, one, one, two, three, four, all right, one, one, two, three, four, Oh, not dead yet. One, one, two, 
three, four. <laughs> I feel no accomplishment whatsoever. <laughs> Commander standard, unalloyed gold needle. I think I already had one of those. Oh, and we unlock a little book. Grace. Fancy that. Ah, my finger kind of hurts from having to hold down left so long. Didn't even get a level up. Bummer. Okay, well, I was really hoping that since that was on the map as, like, the heart of this thing, that that would be where our item was. But... That is not where the item that we were looking for was. Oh, swamps and bugs. Even when it's a poison. Or, well, I guess hyper poison swamp. Still got bugs. Nope, stop. Stop. Ow. Ow. Bugs still suck. Come on, then. Oh, luring them into a rod geyser probably would be a little faster than that, yeah. <laughs> Alright, somber smithing stone, sure. Running around looking for items. Somewhere in this place, supposedly. At least it's not a very big swamp, I guess. What are you? Huh, interesting. One of those mage tower golems that's just hanging around here for some reason? There are a lot of places where there are just these random, like chairs set up for people to be dead in where it looks like they watched some scenery as they died. Something vaguely. I don't even know what it's supposed to mean. It's a little morbid, I guess. Hmm. Cave? Alright, let's start by doing the exterior of the rot swamp. Seeing if there's any items along there. Possibly any caves. Also, is this a living thing? Oh, look at that. Ow. I really should have expected it was going to do something at some point. Woo! Oh, you can move. And also, there's a lot of you. I guess that means you're probably not worth killing, then. Uh, where? Can't check the map, because we're technically in combat. More terrible flowers. More terrible eggs. I wonder if those are technically flowers and not eggs? Could see it going either way. All right, continuing around the edge. This looks like where we started. I guess I did haven't technically done a full circuit. Are y'all like just super into these butterflies? Oh, you're those 
poison people, but this isn't really a poison swamp kind of area. Hmm. Weird. You're also chilling here. But still spewing out green poison stuff instead of red rot stuff. Curious. Okay, I'm assuming that's something I've already gotten before, then. Whoa, 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 no, 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 yep, okay. Nope, I just couldn't turn around. Okay. Well, I have already got the rot, which means I'm now immune to you. See, this is the problem with trying to give people horrible poisonous rot diseases is if you actually succeed, suddenly they're completely invincible. I mean, they're probably going to die, but they're also totally invincible. Oh, I see. You're here so I can get double poisoned all at once. Sure, that's technically clever, I guess. In a really sadistic kind of way. The NPC in town sent us to fetch a key that's somewhere in this swamp, so we've been told. So we are going to do some exterior collisions to detect if it is around the edges of the swamp, and then once we have cleaned up the edges of the swamp, we will begin to search inwards. Such is the completionist lifestyle. Although it'll probably involve teleporting at some point. As soon as the game considers me out of combat. Such that I can get rid of these poisons. You buggy thingy. Can you give me HP? Ow. No, 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 no. Come back and give me more healing potions. Alright, what do you have to say? Nothing really. Let's see, that right there. Oh. Alright, well that seems worth sitting at. It's the NPC I'm thinking you got what you need. Oh, was that gold needle the item that we got sent to fetch? Even though we already had a gold needle? Oh, a gold sewing needle is different from an unalloyed gold needle. Okay, I thought it was just, like, a duplicate crafting item thing. Okay, good call. Yeah, we do already have what we need. Might as well explore this area, though, because I don't think I'm ever coming back. What are you? Not you, I know what you are. You're garden variety annoying. What are you? Oh, you were just another one of these, but glowing blue for no reason. Okay, well, that's not much of anything. What? Here, then? Oh. Okay. Can I actually catch you, I wonder, if I just give up being patient? Probably not. I'm going to go with no.
Okay, you turn there. Uh oh, I really feel like that should have hit. I really feel like that should have hit. Huh. Small advancements. Oh, you're technically attacking me or whatever? Okay. Is that a cave? No, not really. That's just that regular spot again. You're just normal. How many major bosses have I done so far? What is the definition of major? Do you mean to say bosses that give great runes? Have we done this already? I guess we must have. Uh, of the bosses that give out great runes, I have done two. The, what I assume is the default first one, and the one in Lake of Lyernia. Okay. There actually doesn't seem to be hugely much in the poison swamp, or rot swamp, I guess, technically. Mostly it just seems like that ruin over there is the only thing that we haven't fully explored. Aside from maybe stuff that's just randomly chilling on one of these islands here. It isn't really marked by any landmarks, per se. The most difficult thing we've done so far has been this tower over here, but that didn't seem to have, like, any story beats to it. It was just thick stats and very willing to kill me in one hit. Oh, oh you're not dead. There's gotta be some kind of doorway down, because there always is in one of these ruins. Alright. Successfully identified. So we're capable of summoning down here. Does that mean we have a boss? Hmm. Huh. No boss and a useless spell. Disappointing. All right, well, I guess that means we can head back to the place with the person as soon as I'm able to teleport. So now, where was that person? You were here. Hmm. I feel like there must have been a grace site close to that that I missed. So that's an oddly large area of no grace. More of these nerds with the hats, but this time they're ghost nerds with the hats instead of actual nerds with the hats, I guess. All right, and 
There's our little house. What do you have to say about this person? Was that damage? Uh, that was me pressing the left attack button. The sword does a lot if you press the left attack button. Can you give me a hint as well, mage, as it is, super? Be wary of dog. Can you give me as well, mage? Can you as well? Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to read if more of these messages are telling me to kill you. The messages don't seem to think you're a good person, and I've got kind of burned on not listening to the messages when they said that people were bad people before. If you ask me to go stab somebody with a golden needle, I think I might have to disagree. Hmm. No horse, eh? I'm going to be honest, I'm not seeing another way in, though. Okay, so NPC wants time. Now, what exactly does that imply? Also, is that a stake? So there's a boss near here? Hmm. We did try to kill one NPC, mostly because they were kind of a jerk and killed a different NPC. But it didn't stick. Hattie's Isled. Alright, there's gotta be a grace site, like, right outside this gate that I missed last time, right? This seems like where the level design normally would put one. No. Weird. It's such a huge area without a grace. Yeah, well, I mean, there's one there. That's still really far away. <sighs> so do we have enough to level up yet? No. Let's try going back to that NPC at night. See if that changes anything. Oh, hello, giant. If I run underneath you, do you jump down at me? No? Okay. Alright. Still a weird dog. Curiously placed. Strangely weak. Huh. Yeah, nothing to say. Alright, what do you have to say now that we went and took a rest? Okay. Fate 
need. The poor girl, she never wished for any of this. Do you find it peculiar that I would show such concern for the girl? Well, I'm the one that found her, a mere babe in the swamp of Aonia. She is one of my dear daughters. But the rotting sickness erodes one's memory. I doubt that she remembers the first thing about me. Oh, I must be getting old. That didn't always worry so much. <laughs> now, all you need to do is deliver the new troop to Millicent. She's convalescing in the church atop the cliff just beyond Sawyer. Do so, and you shall receive a handsome recompense, of course. Now, all she's convalescing. <sighs> All right, do we have new messages? No, the same messages that say you're probably not a good person. Uh, I really don't want to get duped into doing this again. So, church up here, I guess, probably, is the one that I'm going to guess they're talking about. Down this way. Pardon me. I'm assuming if the dragon doesn't have a health bar, I'm not really supposed to bother killing it. Look at all those dragons. Ooh. What are you? Are you alive? Oh my. You are a large dragon. A large dragon I am not supposed to be riding on, apparently. Or going next to either. Whoa. Okay, dragons with red eyes? So what? Infected with rage? Or madness, I guess was technically the name? Hmm. Ooh. Howdy, Scorpy. Alright, well. Yeah, this is the place we were supposed to be going. Wasn't really expecting the dragon out front, but that's fine. That's fine. Ooh. Flying enemies that take more than one hit to kill. This is going to be a... Very scary little interlude. What do we got there? Stuff. Okay. Are you splashing? Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Don't get hit by the command grab. Lesson learned. It's also entirely possible this isn't even the church, because it doesn't actually look much like a church. So I suspect I'm probably not actually in the correct spot. Ow. Flying enemies in general have been the most unpleasant thing to fight in my experience. Oh, come to think of it. Actually. Ow. Ow. If flying enemies are annoying, maybe we can have a summon do it? You're not.
You're not really doing any damage, though. Ow. Wow, you are a tanky little booger. Goodness gracious, I can't blame my summon for not doing any damage. Golden Rune 9? Okay. What is that? That is a very glowing item. Not the smartest, but we'll get there. Wow, those, they have a lot of health, but if they're just continuously dropping Golden Rune Nines, at least that's a lot of experience. Hmm. What are you getting wrecked by down there? What on earth? What did you find? That's a horrifying story that's being told just entirely off screen. Oh, hello. Did I have the other half of that medallion at all? Yes! Now, whatever a great lift of dex this is, I don't really know. Michaela's Halig Tree, and this one... Grand Lift of Dectus, connecting the Altus Plateau to Liernia. Oh, okay. So Fort Faroth must be where we just were. Not that I have any clue where... So Liernia's... over here? Is that this spot? No, all the other ones are below, so Liernia is here. So if I go up here, that allows me to go from Liernia to wherever a plateau is, I guess? Maybe? I don't know. Something like that. Liernia is left. Isn't that... Oh, no, this is Liernia. This is Limgrave. Got it. I thought because Kalid was below Kalid, that meant Limgrave was below Limgrave. But yeah, this this section here was Limgrave, and this section here was the Weeping Peninsula. All right, that sounds right. I believe you. Oh, good eyeballs. nice thing about this particular summon is a lot of posture damage with those arrows.
Where are you seeing more people? Oh, I see. The summons are mostly invisible and or are coming in randomly. Wow, you're really useful to have to spot these enemies. More? Uh, I don't know about that one, Chief. Are we sure? Somebody over there? Eh, maybe not. Oh. Wow. Yeah, you're super useful to have around here. This would be so annoying otherwise. Hmm. I feel like that was directly through my head. just being rude. I kind of feel like he's just trying to keep me on my toes. I'm gonna go with no. That doesn't look like that's meaningful jumping locations. This, however, looks like something. Whoa. Yeah, all right. Wow, I am really glad that didn't kill me. Wait, wait, wait. Friend? No. Friend? No. Whoa, you actually took that like a champ. Now I actually have to keep my eyes peeled on my own. It's going to be difficult. So far, about 100% of these have popped up off-camera. For this next little bit, be prepared for some wild camera swings as I try to pivot to look behind myself in 180 directions <laughs> rapidly. And frequently. Yeah, so far that summon with the ranged attacks has allowed us to cheese some bosses we absolutely had no business being physically capable of beating. And then the uh, Loodle summon has been fun for summoning and then sitting down in a corner and allowing them to just solo a boss fight on their own. Hmm. Guessing this entire area... No, hold on. That is, in fact, the area we've been to before. But that looks new. Wait, what's up with the dead bats? Is this not actually somewhere we've been to before? Oh, hello. Whoa, you're not dead. That's a problem. I really need you to be dead. Uh, I was not expecting the rat to have survived two hits. I feel like I'm happy I spent a bunch of experience getting the FP for some of the stronger summons, because then I'm a little weaker and I can just not use the stronger summons in most fights. All right, let's actually try a stronger summon now for this area. See how interesting we make our way through here with... 
coming? There you are. But yeah, it, it, some of the boss fights in areas I was supposed to be appropriately leveled for felt way too easy. So having some wasted experience, I think, kind of makes me happy. poison me through walls. Bummer. Oh, there are two of you here, huh? I really would like my summon to come back. Hmm. We find ourselves in an awkward predicament. Where exactly is... Oh, there you are. I was wondering if you were busy running off on your own to solo the entire dungeon. Come on. If I don't kill you now, you're gonna come back and try to kill me in the middle of the whole thing. What are you hitting me with that's hit-stunning me while you're on the ground? Okay, so this definitely was the room we were in earlier. This is the section that we weren't in that need to find a way in from above. Which looks like we can drop down from that side. Got it. So far, you do not seem as useful as the archer in this particular environment. Ow. Oh, you're just dodging everything, huh? Okay, and there isn't actually a crit animation for you. You just flail around on the ground for a while. This environment up here might be slightly better for this summon, though. Let's see, was there something over this direction? I do not think so. Oh, I didn't realize there were two different pits we could jump down. Ow. Whoa, okay, that did a lot of damage. I didn't realize my health was that low. Wow, you're just actually getting bodied over here. Wait, what? Okay, this is down to nowhere. The other one is down to somewhere. All right, so this summon is, this summon can do a ton of tanking, but apparently not for this zone. Danger suck. Thanks for the follow. Glad you're enjoying the stream. All right, well. Oh, and now you're just actually around. Oh. Jeez. 
There's no mercy in the amount of damage being dealt in this zone. I feel like this is where I was supposed to drop down. I'm wrong. Wait. What? Did I drop down the same hole twice? Thinking that I was dropping down the other hole that time? Huh. That's 100% the hole I just jumped down. Oh, there's three holes. Oh. All right, well, this is the hole with the ladder, so... I feel somewhat confident this is probably the right one. Ooh. And these are super rats that take three hits. Remember that. Ooh. Such fast rattery. Much easier that time around. Radagon Sore Seal. Now that's interesting. Different from a Scar Seal? It's better. Yeah, that's better. That's definitely better. Too bad I can't equip both of them, but it's an upgrade. All right. Sad to retire the talisman we've been wearing all game. Now, if I had to guess, I think that's actually this dungeon done. Dungeon. The unfortunate part is that I don't think we actually intended to come here. How much is this? 43? And this is also 44. Oh, that's weird. Why does Vigor improve defensive power? I never noticed it doing that. Alright, well. I did say we were going to keep pumping Vigor until it started having diminishing returns, and I don't know exactly when that is, but let's keep going. Where am I trying to go to? Until it stops giving more health. Any level up increases defense. Ah, that's a cool way to do it. Okay, so if this wasn't the church... Then, um, are you the church? No, you're a well. That's the tower, not a church. I don't know, maybe like somewhere, maybe this place? I feel like that's where they were going to give us the key to. Did I read a note? 
No, do I have no? Oh, maybe it's this place. Vigor will always give more health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vigor is always going to give more health. I mean to say when it starts having diminishing returns is the point at which I'm going to stop leveling it up. But for the time being, it's been giving increasing amounts of HP per level. Or else when I feel like I need to start doing more damage. But so far I have not felt like I needed to do more damage. <laughs> what is that? Okay. That's some interesting screaming. Wait, is that you? Are you the one screaming? Whoa. Well, you're certainly fancy. But I got a horse. So there's nothing fancy enough to beat a horse. Beast blood? It's not really what I was expecting. What is up with this graphic? Why am I sword down, armor down? Is that from the seal I just equipped? Uh, stat soft cap stuff, I do not mind information on at all. That That is not spoilers to me. That feels like the kind of thing you're just supposed to take a wiki dive at. Oh, I see you're the kind that need to be hit again. Oh, you're just gonna keep coming, huh? Come on. There we go. Sixty vigor. All right, yeah. So we can have a bunch more HP if we want. Although maybe that'll be boring to be just leveling up HP for that long. So two-handing a weapon sort of throws off the math on how scaling works. Like, for example, this sword has... I, I don't actually know what C dex scaling and D strength scaling actually equates into point of strength per point of damage, but... So one point of dex does more damage than one point of strength, but leveling up one point of strength actually levels up 1.5 levels of strength when it comes to damage, if you're two-handing it, which we are. So it's unclear whether a point of strength or a point of dex actually results in more damage going up for the sword. So if I want to do more damage, I'm going to level up strength. I don't actually know if it's, like, strictly better, but it makes me happier. And it certainly makes our side weapon that we haven't used in forever better because that's just like mono strength scaling still don't know what those are for okay you want to point the way to something Down there, on the beach? Or do you just mean along this road? I don't know about that. I mean, certainly this design a million percent would seem to indicate... Oh! You are what killed them. Wow, okay, you're tanky. Ooh, you got some hops, too. 
Horse, horse, do we want to stop charging? Thank you. Ow. Oh, my. Ooh. Oh, God. Turning horses next to cliffs is the worst thing in this game. What are you? Why did you come all the way over here? Oh, I'm gonna just run off a cliff, huh? I'm beginning to see why there were so many bloodstains over there. Whoa! You're not messing around. Goodness gracious. Why don't you have a health bar? Oh, no, 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 no coming back. Not allowed. Yes. Oh, come on, then. Since when were these things mobile? Or, like, actual threats in any meaningful way? When did that start happening? zone that just kind of doesn't have anything. I mean, certainly the implication. I don't see anywhere I could jump with a horse reasonably here. Oh, I could run off with a horse and then jump backwards with the double jump? I'm just not even going to try that, though. That is not the life I'm about. Can you do that with a horse? I assume? You can certainly jump with a horse and then turn in midair with it. But, like, I don't want to test it. I was looking for more upgrades to this. My flask has not been healing enough these days. So I can keep leveling this up, but also that might be kind of boring. What if we started pumping it into endurance so that we can start equipping heavier armor? Maybe that's also like getting more Kind of. HP. Go full faith. Hmm. <laughs> nah. We're not gonna nerd out. I don't think. Let's see. Flasks. Can we add a charge? Not enough. Increase amount. Do I have more of those? No. Okay. Alright, you're the nerd we're supposed to give stuff to, right? Who are you, Mr. Yes, Norm? You are. If you are. That is unfortunate. Leave immediately. My flesh writhes with scarlet rot. It is a curse. Not to be meddled with by man. Eh, don't worry, I got it in a couple of times too. Well, when in doubt, attempt to help. I don't know. 
I'm kind of taking this on the words of somebody who I hope is a good person. I've decided I would rather trust you than you simply continue to spoil from within. Would you mind averting your eyes for a moment? Well, that was easier. Really rather this not happen twice. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hopefully, not dead. I feel like that would kind of have lost a little bit of the emotional impact on me. Okay, just fell asleep. Well, you seem better now. Alright. Feel sort of like a good person for the time being. I can move as I please. Not that I could ever truly repay you, but I would like you to have this by way of thanks. A token, though it is. Prosthesis wearer heirloom. Huh. Raises decks by five. Interesting. Okay. Well, I do have a sword that will do more damage now this way. I'm considering leaving. On a journey. With the needle buried in my flesh, I've started to recall. But dimly, my destiny. It's all thanks to you. My name is Millicent. I pray fate permits us meet again. I'm considering with the needle my destiny. Okay. All right. I'm considered the needle of my destiny. What do you have to say? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> I suppose I should be expecting the messages to just be unceasingly thirsty at this point. I don't know why I expect any different. items since we're just kind of chilling here. Are you an enemy? You are. You're just kind of hanging outside the church, huh? Weird. Pest's Glaive. A halberd. Huh, okay. All right. Well, I gotta say, that went good. Looks like you're supposed to come down that way. I wonder if I can take this wide enough to not upset the pupper? No, oh, I think I can. 
Sweet. Oh. Hello. Oh. Hello again. Something about this place felt familiar to me. Yeah, there was a nerd I was going to say thank you to here. Hoping to find someone here, but I've only found emptiness. Perhaps before my departure, I needed someone to say farewell to. Hmm. Huh. Well, never mind that. I must focus on my journey. For which I have you to thank. I must stay strong. But now I'm kind of confused. Weren't we supposed to get instructions on how to enter that city from the nerd who was here? I must focus on my journey. For which I have you to thank. I must stay strong. I guess not. Maybe we learned some way to get in here that I forgot about. Hmm. Can I get in here? Is this anything? No. And that's just that place we already saw. Oh, we got instructions in our inventory? Maybe. Light three flames atop the candle tower. Okay. Now oh, it's a candle tower. You a candle tower? You don't look like one. Are you a candle tower? Are you enterable? You do not seem to be. Owie. Owie. You also don't seem to be particularly enterable. Can I enter this? Because I have the key from that other city? No. Okay. Pardon me, pardon me. Looking for candles. Not this thing, that's what I looked at earlier. Okay. Doors, candles. Oh, you look like you might be a door. Ooh. 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 Lock on does not like fighting invisible friends. Whoa. I don't know why that one wasn't far enough to hit you. Okay, well now then, can we? No, closed door after all of that. Whoa, hello. come from. No invisible walls. Whoa. You people just keep showing up, huh? Maybe I should be engaging in less street level attempts to enter buildings and more roof level attempts to enter buildings with my horse on account of being 
relatively aerodynamic. Probably manage that. Oh well. We know the easy way up. Now, how do I get on top of that one? Oh, I see. Right spook. Alright. Certainly this can be lit. Seal has broken in town somewhere. Would you look at that? Oh. Kind of feel like you fell off there, friend. Whoa. to have. And... Skyrimming your way up on stuff with horses is an entirely valid solution to many riddles. The trouble is it's a solution to so many riddles that the game doesn't actually intend it to be a solution to that I'm nervous about ever assuming it's the intended solution. Because I think so far we've brute forced like three puzzles that were supposed to be actual puzzles by just jumping over the puzzle with a horse. Which is fun the first couple of times, but it does begin to leave you feeling like you missed out on some actual fun puzzle solving. Where's the last one? Aha. Oh, item. Come on. That doesn't really feel like a staff of loss. You need a lot more than just one line for that. You need like... Seven? Something like that? Maybe technically nine. Okay, so that should be three seals on the ground broken. One. Come on now. Can't you just let me have fun? Spell Drake Talisman. Somehow I get the feeling that's going to be a nerd item. Night Comet. That feels like a nerd item. Oh, I'm sorry, did I scare you? Ooh. And what are you? I should probably do some of those painting quests at some point. So far I have done zero of them.
I'm assuming the paintings are quests. I think the idea is that you're supposed to go to the spot that they depict from the angle they depict, and then you get something. I just haven't bothered to do that, because that doesn't sound like something I'm good at. Where are... Okay, no, no, you're not a crab. You're just a person. Where is that other door? Hmm. I recall seeing it somewhere around here, but maybe that's just me going crazy. Aha! Ooh! All right, still haven't actually found what those imbued sword keys are used for, but I'm sure once we get a chance to use them, they'll be worth it, considering how much rarer they are than the other types. All right, and we got one of you. Always happy for more healing potions. And we got one of you. Always happy for more checkpoints. I see your map thought you went where they were used. Uh, boop, boop. We've been to these areas so far, with these areas being places we've only teleported to, and not actually been to for real. This is more or less the intended way up to the church. Up to... This church? No, wait, this church? Could we even get up to here before we did that? Oh, did that person give us the way through the city before we actually completed the needle quest? Oh, I thought they weren't going to give it to us until we got back. <laughs> I didn't realize we already had the answer to that without completing the quest. Let's see, anything up here? Yes, this is just straight up going into the... that thing. And this was the way we came? Yes. Oh, hello, you again. Huh. Well, that raises some interesting questions about what the point of getting through this city was. Whoa. Alright, that's going to be a hard jump to make, if I'm being honest, and there doesn't actually seem to be a benefit to making it. Hmm. And yet. There's got to be something over there, but there is nothing over there. Oh, but there's a doorway. Interesting. It's unfortunate that that's going to kill me, because I do kind of want to go see what's on the other side of that doorway. Can we perhaps not fall off? Well, we're not dead. Good work, horse. That looked like a spot we could actually go into, though. Maybe we go check that out again. Oh! It's a real doorway. Huh. Whoa, okay. Whip got reach. Oh. Ooh, okay. Huh. Real hops. Oh, and you just jump away. Look at that. Oh, but you got no HP. Oh, okay. Ooh, ooh, okay, you get to do that on the backswing.
Wait. Oh, why didn't that go? Oh, I must be out of mana, because that still didn't go again. Alright. Mini bosses. Spooky. How many souls runes did I give me? Not very much. Okay. What do we got? <laughs> Yet more nerd stuff, even though these two weren't even nerds. Alright, that was this thing, yeah. Chair Crypt. Huh. I feel like once a priest picks up a giant hammer, that kind of makes them at least a warrior nerd. Look, just because I'm in a town of sorcery doesn't mean that I can't hope that some of them have standards. Whoa, horsey. From where? I don't even know. Alright, what was behind here? Literally nothing. Okay, good talk. Whoa. Oh, you. One lone skelly. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Off the horse. Stab at the skelly. Fall to the ground. What you gonna do about it? Ooh, you got poise. Oh. It's really insulting how little HP, or few runes that enemy gives, despite being kind of annoying. Gowrie's Shack, Sage Gowrie. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Does the map think they're back again? Traveling by rooftop is a lot faster than traveling by ground. Goodness. Hey, you're actually back. Wow. And you just kind of booked out when she was here? And stare her fate straight in the eye. You've been a saint through and through. Huh. As thanks, I vow to impart to you my knowledge of the lost sorceries of the Selians, descendants of the Eternal. Oh, you noticed, did you? Indeed, Millicent did visit his hollow home. It seems the memories eaten away by the yet remain, but faintly. However, she has no need of me anymore. No, she must embark on her journey and stare her fate in the eye. I mustn't impede. As I've aged, I've found a 
Alright, you seem like you're actually a cool person. Mostly I just kind of want to, like, thank you for actually being a cool person thus far. Why does... Huh. Alright. The messages really don't like you. That is unclear. So far you seem like a cool person. I'm a little nervous about what's going wrong. <sighs> okay, well, I guess that seems like this area completed. The message is, yeah, I could see turning them off if you wanted to be surprised by stuff. I kind of like the sense of community of it. It's like Twitch chat, but with hands tied, and I already kind of enjoy Twitch chat. And certainly there is a lot of stuff you wouldn't be able to discover otherwise. Windy crystal... Whoa! I think mean, that's the first crystal tier I've ever gotten. It wasn't from one of those Erd Tree boss fights. eating flaming meat and the soldiers fighting the dogs okay there are a lot of dead dogs covered in mold here okay so they keep what I'm reading out of this storytelling is they keep killing the dogs the dogs keep rotting other dogs come to eat the dogs that they have killed, and then they kill those dogs. I wish the soldiers were this incompetent in doing damage when they fight me. I'm certainly trying very hard to be cinematic with the way that the numbers on these encounters are scaled. Let me just pick that up. Uh, it's a butterfly, all right. All right, we got anything else in here? Doesn't really look like it. Hmm. And there's a barrow over there. And more rabid dogs. All right, well, this seems like decidedly not my problem. Ooh, there's something up there. Aha! Crag blade. All right, that sounds kind of cool. The Starge Scourge Conflict. Radon alone holds Celia secure and stands tall to shatter the stars. And we did hear stuff about this person apparently being somebody who fought stars and then made them hold still. Somehow. There's an interesting guessing game with this 
that seems to be all right. 50-50, is something very figurative or very literal? Which is it gonna be? Oh, Well, that could have gone worse. No fall damage, because I guess that barely wasn't folly enough. Oh, you don't actually have that much health. Huh. Okay. I think this is me sprinting up ladders. This is holding B, and this is doing it normally. There's not much of a perceptible difference. Oh, the backstep tech is real. Uh, now this is probably going to be fall damage. I kind of assumed we were at the point where there was going to be a wall behind me. I didn't realize that was more closed area. All right, where are we? Oh, that's painful. I wish stepping on these mushrooms had a squishier sound effect. More beast blood. Still have no clue. Like, I'm gonna be honest, 99% of the things I pick up, I don't actually understand what the usage of is, including most consumables and most crafting material, but I still feel compulsively driven to pick it up for no actual reason I can explain other than well, it's something I can pick up, so I'm supposed to. Why are... Oh, you... Oh, you're not my runes. You're a grace two feet from where I died. Ah. You know what? I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I'm gonna use the other ladder. Yeah, this feels like the right choice. Uh, where are they? All right. Choice successful. Hold on, hold on. Oh, there was... Okay. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Chill. Chill, chill, chill. What is this spot that I just got to? Why is this here? Even the camera hates the existence of this spot. Why are you so good at dodging? Why are you all so good at dodging? All right. Aha, there was a purpose to do this. Arrows, sting, talisman. That seems like another item that's probably for nerds. Wow, it was an item for nerds. Shocked, I say. I'm shocked. Oh. Okay. That's rude. This is just put there to fling you off the edge if you're trying to hug it. 
can I get around to the back of this thing the other direction? No, just another one of these things that's gonna throw me off the edge. Well, there's a respawn point right here. Yep, that's exactly what it's gonna do. That's evil. Huh. What's up with these being hide covered on one side? What? They like stapled hides to one side and it's not the side that's facing the fight. It's the side that's facing the castle. The ladders are also facing this side. All right, okay, I get it, I get it. You put two ladders here and one of them's the wrong choice. It feels almost like this tower was built to be facing towards the castle rather than towards the fight. Whoa, okay, that's a second hit. Okay, there's no possible way this could go badly. Yeah, it's not like they could just stab me through the wall and push me off the edge. <laughs> it's definitely a siege tower to siege the castle. Yeah, it does seem to be like the implication, isn't it? Which is interesting. That would certainly have a lot of... Well, implications. Whoop, 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 whoop. The interior of this thing seems to be hollow. Alright, see, we made it like a couple more feet this time. Please move. Please move. Please move. Please move. Please move. This is really... Okay. We made it a couple more feet. And I think I stayed live long enough that it'll keep the souls there. What's the reason that I start on spawn with, like, just a random amount of every status? Is there supposed to be some lore for that, or is that related to an item that I've got equipped? Or is it just a weird artifacting of the game system? Come, please! Can we just either actually attack or just let me climb when I press the climb button instead of just sitting here not climbing? Probably because of the talisman that raises your stats. Oh, okay, so it raises our resistance and the game thinks that going from... that anytime I raise my resistance, it's sort of like getting extra of the buff, or getting extra of the stacking debuff. Hmm, okay. That's a slightly strange way to have it coded, but here we are. Okay. Boss ahead. All right. I didn't have anything to do in this zone that I came directly towards. Let's find out where this goes.
Oh, this is just to the castle. Well, no, 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 no. I don't want to go impassable Great Bridge. Okay, well, maybe I do actually have to not cross the bridge normally then. I've met a certain NPC. I don't feel like that's specific enough for me to actually possibly answer. Now, why would this be impassable? It is smoking quite a bit. So am I going to get hit by a giant fireball? That seemed distinctly passable. Huh. And now there's a different teleporty thing? Did I meet the witch? The witch. Do you mean the lady up here? In that case, yes. So that's why there's a teleporter there. Without that, there just isn't a teleporter? Huh. The game gave no indication that that was something that was happening to the world. If you hadn't met the witch, this would be a battle. Huh. Okay. Wait. Was there supposed to be a way for me to get up this thing? I must have to jump on that from above, then. I'm gonna have to do a deep dive if I end up replaying this game at some point to figure out all the, like, world state changes that happen as a result of you doing different quests. That's wild. Okay, yeah, definitely from above. Because, yeah, there's just nobody here for whatever reason. So presumably for some lore reason now, this was a siege of the castle that has ended. Presumably one side or the other has won now? You're supposed to come here and beat the boss for the quest line. For whose quest line? Or, I, well, I mean, I guess technically I actually am here on that quest line currently, in that I assume this is where one of the major bosses is, and I've been given the implication that I need to beat that boss to get to the city that I'm supposed to be going to. But in order to be on that quest line, you need to be at the point I, I gather where this fight isn't happening. Because to be on that quest line at all, you have to have met the witch. Yeah, he's pretty. That's accurate. Well, that's the spot where we gotta jump. We did meet Blade in the underground area, yes.
He did seem like a good boy. So did the giant. Rani herself seems... inscrutable, but... calm and polite. Like, that's usually a good indication. The other dude's kind of... a hyper dick, but when we killed him, the game got upset, so we had to unkill him. Which was, I'm gonna be honest, kind of disappointing. Yeah, I'm guessing this time around they're not gonna open the gate for me. Yeah. They did not. Okay, so I guess that way around was actually the intended path. Yes, that other dude is the one who told me to come here. And unfortunately, I still am not capable of killing him. But maybe at some point in the quest line we can do that. But Blade got upset at me because we did, so that didn't actually work. Ooh, hello. We could also just take the teleporter, but I feel like I'd miss out on, you know, environmental content. Interesting. Two different ways in, huh? We probably pop our anti-poison regen at this point. No. In fact, not two ways in. It's like work, sometimes you just gotta work with someone that's a dick. Yeah, but like, also sometimes you don't have to work with people who kill people. That you like. It's less necessary. But sometimes necessary. I was not expecting Gregorian chanting. Alright. There's a strange absence of enemies still. interested in killing you if you don't want to fight back. Okay. Well, this goes here. Okay. Actual enemy. Whoa. Pop me out of that even after I already spent the mana? That's rude.
What? I don't even get a message telling me it doesn't open from this side? I just get a straight up dead end? Okay. I was curious. Did I have another path I can go? This wall seems oh, not too high to jump. Okay. But how many of these falls are scripted instant death? Well, not that one, apparently. Alright, my internal map is completely dead. Okay, the, this is like actually broken, as in the game is broken, and the doors don't work. Ooh, hello. That feels like the level is designed that that door is supposed to open. They work just not when the festival is on. And the festival is currently on whatever a festival is okay doors still don't work okay that's the gate Okay, we have been spotted. Oh, I was gonna say, are you too big to fit through here? Hmm. Hmm. Nope. Ooh, hello. Kitty got hops. Where'd the other kitty go? Oh, you just kind of phased through the ground there, huh? No, but for real, where did the other kitty go? What? Oh. They just kind of teleported back home, huh? Alright, well, I only have... Two billion too many somber smithing stone fours, so why not some more? There you go. They took the teleporter? Yeah, maybe it did. Maybe that is what happened. Okay, so this is where the teleporter took us to earlier. And that's still a door that doesn't work. Because none of the doors work. That doesn't look like a functional door. These don't look like doors. Branching path times three. 
because this doesn't have a door. Ooh, hello. I feel like I picked the right path first. Did I meet the pot? I, the giant pot that's here? In that case, no. We got to the pot, but we didn't actually talk to it because the summons kicked my butt a lot. Alexander. Uh, is that the giant pot? Then no, I don't believe so. Missed an NPC in Limgrave. Okay. I did ask yesterday, but there wasn't a very large consensus on if it was capable of easily deducing what NPCs I hadn't met in places we already got to. But... If anybody wants to direct me to NPCs that I have not met in, I guess now, this area, this area, and this area, and has some idea of NPCs that I haven't met, or how I would know that, he's stuck. All right. Do we want to go to them before we do this next spot, then? Argyle Lake, going south by the path. Uh, is that this lake? There's not actually, like, labels on the map at all. Free a guy trapped as a tree? No, not trapped as a tree that I can think of. Oh. oh, look at that. Argyle Lake South. And then go south down the path. Somewhere over in this direction. Take care, Sam. Thanks for stopping by. We've definitely been down here. This is pretty close to where we met the NPC whose father was in charge of the castle down south. I did explore most of this zone. Or at least I feel like I spent a lot of time here. Time. What is Argyle Lake North? Okay, so where is Tree Person over here then? Not by the path. Got it. Alright. First off, let's look for Tree Person. Assuming Tree Person isn't the person who was st stuck on top of the ruins over here. Have to listen for him in the path. Pot is loud. Okay. So pot somewhere here. Run around this area. Listen. And tree person is somewhere over here. North of Argyle Lake North. Whoa. This I do not recall having seen in this area. Okay, so somewhere around here in a tree?
or more north than this. Not here. South of Grace, east of the telescope. Somewhere. You? Yeah, you there. Stop pretending you can't see me. I literally can't see you, though. Why won't anyone look me in the eye? I'm, I'm not that ugly, am I? And you can't see me. Why won't anyone look me in the eye? I'm, I'm not that ugly, am I? Oh, okay. Oh, yes. I remember. Some clod turned me into a tree. You were just breaking a spell, weren't you? Thank you. My name's Bok. <laughs> okay. Pushed out of the cave. Told not to come back. Not ever. Then I ended up as a tree. <laughs> Lucky you came along, really. Shane, when they threw me out of the cave, they took everything I owned, and so this is all I have to express my thanks. I hope you can forgive me. Or, yeah. If you can oh, ten mushrooms. Nice. I could sneak back into the cave and bring back something of actual value. Totally unnecessary. Don't stress. Right. But I'll need a moment. I'm, I'm frightened of them. So I have to gather myself. My knees start knocking. Just thinking about that god awful cave on the shore. Right. Um, cave on the shore. That wouldn't happen to be that cave, would it? Not a lot of folks left in there. To find Alexander, go to the Saints Bridge Grace. Okay. Uh-huh. Ooh, everyone here is dead. You'll end up just like me. Give the sewing? What? Why a sewing? Sure, whatever. Is that what I think it is? You got it back for me. My sewing needle. What? Was that loot from this cave? 
like 20 hours ago maybe. I assume he was supposed to tell me <laughs> that there was a sewing needle here that was important. I, I always wanted to be just like sweet old mum. Then I suppose I, I can't just curl up and die, can I? Thank you. You are very kind. I always wanted to be a seamstress. Okay. Well, what if I go and take a nap? Do you feel better at that point? Well, you're gone now. Okay. All right, go to Saints Bridge Grace. Oh, wow, way up north. A little west of the bonfire. Got the name wrong, maybe? Is this the place where Alexander is supposed to be? Lock we can find again later, but for now, hunted down this elusive pot, I think, is the next step. Should be here. Uh, north or south west, or I guess directly west. But then again, also just might not be here. Southwest-ish. Close to the ravine slash road. Okay. Probably too far at this point. Probably too far at this point. Not here. Okay. Well, maybe I did this part and forgot about it? Further up. Further up as in north, or further up as in further west? I feel like we're going to need to do most um, directions in terms of north, west, south, and east of landmarks. Because by the time I read anything, I'm going to be, like, in a very different point <laughs> physically from wherever... I was at when the message gets typed. Did I kill Alexander in the crater I went past? I don't think I've killed a pot. I, well, no, that's actually not true. I've killed a lot of pots. I don't think I've killed an NPC pot. But it is entirely possible I did a quest and then forgot about it. What crater? Oh, the crater is in, like this big sunken area that they're hanging out in?
Did I meet a talking pot? I don't recall meeting a talking pot. But also, this zone of the game was like 20, 30, 40 hours ago. Yeah, not seeing anybody around here. Oh no 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 no! You're right! You're right! You're right! We did meet that the the, the weird uh, pot who was at the bottom of the Gale Tunnel. Yeah 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 yeah. I forgot about that. There was, like, right here, just a pot who was saying this was a dead end, despite the fact that there was another door opening here. Okay, all right, and Redmay Castle was where we were actually at. All right, so we're good. Other than the fact that I still need to figure out which of these three directions to go. This is such a weird zone to be running around in with no enemies. For the first time. It's like intensely eerie. Well, that's close to. Although I guess speaking of well, we can do the rest of the NPCs later. That was it, right? There wasn't anything secret? Might still be worth figuring out what other NPCs exist in those areas that I haven't met yet. With the rate NPCs turn up in, like, random areas, I feel like I've probably missed a huge majority of them. Oh, okay, is this just that door too, again? Yes, just that door again. Okay, all paths lead to here. Actual enemy, wait, no, you're, oh. What are you doing here? What? It looks like you're still in one piece, see? You must have heard by now, right? The what? The star scourge Radan holds on his faith in stasis. But once he's out of the way, it will spring back into motion. So now, we stand against a demigod once known as the strongest of them all. Okay. What meeting? We fight, sword, and fang. What are you talking about? Did I visit Jarberg? I don't know. Okay. Why are there so many... I don't think these are actually player ghosts. These seem like fake player ghosts.
Huh. Who are you? Alright, you do seem very cool when you're not strained and lost. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. Huh, okay. Does this fill up with more NPCs if you've met them? Because that kind of feels like what this event is sort of about. Alright, and who are you? This is a large collection of... Like the f most friend. Oh, okay. That was Before moving we begin, on. Allow me to paint you the full picture. What? General Radan is cursed ever to wander. Eaten from the inside by Melania's scarlet rot, his wits are long gone. Now he gathers the corpses of former friends and foes alike, gorging on them like a dog. That's a lot of controller rumble. Howling at the sky. Okay, that explains why I guess his own soldiers want to make a festival out of killing their boss. Okay. You will find the field of battle past the church ahead, upon the shore under the fort. General Radan is there, even now, divested of his wits, devouring corpses, and howling at the sky. I suppose I don't actually want an answer to this, but it occurs to me that I've been thinking every time I've heard the word millennia and Marika that that was the same person, but it is not by virtue of those two words being different. So that is interesting to think. Jumping required ahead. Yeah, I suspect not. Here are those fancy chairs that people die in again. And it is night. Is there some sort of... Wait, Somber Smithing Stone 5. 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 It's already plus 5. Wait, what? Oh, okay, it's saying to turn it into a plus six. Shoot. All right, here I got all excited. Apparently we'd already found a somber smithing stone five at some point. Lame. All 
And actually, this is worth checking. Do you have anything new to say now? No. Okay. Using Y to just flick. Oh, clever. All right. This whole idea of getting a bunch of people to kill Radon together and then have one person take this really powerful rune feels like it's kind of short-sighted. Or I guess maybe the only goal is we really, really got to kill this guy and then we don't care if everybody has to kill each other afterwards. Oh, uh, wait, what? Uh, did teleporting out reset the thing and now I have to talk to you again? Are you good in the festival? Okay, yeah, that is exactly what happened. Before we begin, allow me to paint you. But now, we must make plans. Oh, gathering of champions, the rebels begin. The oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's a gold fog gate over there. Okay, so now is this area open? Yes. Was that chair there before? Huh. Okay, so this is where we're going. Okay, but that's... Now am I supposed to go talk to everybody again? That's weird. So we got an elevator going one direction and a golden gate over there. I'm not actually sure which direction I'm supposed to be going. Or is this not something I can go through and it's just locking me out of back traveling? That is, in fact, exactly what's happening. Got it. Just go for it. Well, <laughs> the trouble was I didn't know which direction I was supposed to be go for it in. We did talk to the pot. Yes. And this gate just doesn't open, because this is an area that has lots of doors that just don't open no matter which side you're looking at them from. I gotta say, all the NPCs with Scarlet Rot seem to be taking it a lot harder than we've been. I feel like maybe they should just try dying and coming back to life. It does remove the debuff. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh, that gets faster. Got it. Oh, it keeps homing, too. Can I horse? I can horse. Okay. Now we're gonna have to get tricky with this. Oh, wait, I thought I was invincible during that. Apparently not. Wait, what? That's a little much, don't you? Those curve? Why would those curve? Why would that be a thing that they can do? What the 
Wow. All right. Hitbox on that. Very rude. You stagger me hard. How much damage do you take? Oh, some. Whoa! Okay. You got range! Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. There are NPC summon points, but let's figure out how necessary those are. If instead, maybe I can just become good. Okay. So the timing on that's a little weird. Okay, wow, you really have to wait to pull that off. Oh wow, he is still on a horse. Unless there's a phase two, that's doable. That's doable. <sighs> but apparently we have to do this before going in. can't just sprint out of the way of those. Can I hop out of the way of them? Or do I just have to do the... Okay, I can maybe hop out of the way of them. Ow. Well, not out of the way of that. Ow. Wait, can I cheese you with a horse, or is that just gonna be too hard? That's going to be too hard. Oh, ouch.
Whoa, hello. I get the feeling that's gonna be bad. Whoa, okay. tough. I'm gonna have to figure out how to dodge that. Ooh. Wow, I had just topped off my health by drinking and that still killed me. Goodness, goodness gracious. A maroon arc? Yeah, you know what? That might be worth trying. Okay, no, I, I can't just jump through it? did hit me for some reason. I thought if I was just... Okay, I can't run close diagonal. Oh, that's not gonna... Okay, well, we got it anyway. Ow. Ow. Get the rhythm wrong slightly for even a second. <sighs> the L2 is good if I get the timing perfect because the back dash and then the teleport in have a bunch of iframes on it. If you got them, use them. Ah, too early. Gosh, that's hard to dodge. and learn. Don't get too far away. Jeez. 
can just hold that until I'm in range, huh? Wait, what are you doing? Oh, you're kidding me. How far away does that hit from? Alright, not quite far enough. Ugh. Jeez. Alright, maybe we're not getting that thin. We could try playing into the gimmick of the fight. I'm only getting it about halfway on my own. Also, like, this run to the boss. I don't get why this game, like, doesn't just load you back into the zone with the boss. Or at least closer to it. Having to, like, do two load zones to get to the boss is kind of... Okay, who are you? Uh-huh. Am I just supposed to spam these? To get closer? Is that like the gimmick? Isn't this kind of cheating, though? Wow. They're actually just going in and doing real damage. No, I don't get very long for that. Where'd you go? Yeah, okay, I kind of wondered. So this is pretty doable if you actually choose to summon stuff. At the very least, that definitely makes the initial approach a lot easier. The L2 is high risk, but when the timing works, it works really well. Ow! Okay, that hit me for some reason. Okay, well that one probably is fairer that it hit me. Oh. 
Okay, we can stop now. Why is it me, though? Having a bunch of NPCs around is, like, actually the opposite of helpful right now. Because I can't see anything. Could you all stop dying and crowding my screen? Okay, or I could be stuck inside of him so I can't actually take any advantage at all of that stagger. Going to run away now. Oh, I see. That's what I'm supposed to be looking for. I kind of thought that last time. He just came back down where he left. Whoa, okay. Are you distracted now? Perfect. I can see how this would be annoying if you were trying to do it on your own. The giant screaming AoE attacks would be pretty annoying. <laughs> Everybody else just conveniently dies when it comes time to see who picks up the rune. It's a little underwhelming. So far, most of these story bosses have been like... <sighs> more... set pieces than, like, super difficult one-on-one -on -one fights. Whoa. Okay. So, did the stars just try to do a couple, however long that guy's been freezing them, worth of returning to movement? I guess. Ah, good. Now we wait here. I'm happy to hear you're not dead. Is that the good kind of sick or the bad way to f sick? Okay. 
I guess. There's a catacomb in that field. Oh, the one we just were at? Who's Ranny? I think it's the person I'm technically working for at the moment. Probably wherever this thing was pointing to. Oh, there was also a ton of items on this field also, weren't there? Or at least there looked like there were a ton of items at the start of the fight. Was there actually just the one? Maybe there was just the one. I like how this is the most empty zone on the map, and the implication is probably just because Radon's been around here killing everything else in sight. direction or further back, I wonder. Probably further back. Nope. Further in this direction it is. What happens if you try to go here while that fight is happening? Huh. Well, if you all want to stay busy, don't mind me. Yep. Just hopping down. Hmm. Oh. That's some rot. That's also some rot. Okay. Oh, you're a normal looking enemy. Oh, you have some health to you. Goodness gracious. Huh. This might be a little out of my HP zone. Alright, well that looked like everything over there.
Oh yeah, we do have a decent number of runes, huh? That may be something that should be a small consideration here. Well, on the other hand, we could just not die. Oh, wait. Which direction is this? I thought I was leaving. Huh. I guess that must be the door we came in and then... see that. Alright, let's, I guess, I mean, I could pump endurance. I should probably pump endurance. Now we can technically wear bigger, heavier, poisier armor. I like how these are slightly different <laughs> aesthetics on the glove. And one of the main differences is that one of them is slightly more zoomed out. <laughs> All right, let's go with this one. And then... These. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Much heavier. Kind of cooler. Still hate these shoes. And what about the armor? I'm pretty sure this is my best armor. Yes, it is. All right. Slightly chonkier now. Get everything up here already? No. There was this, and also that other place that I don't think we've been to yet. Oh, are you an actual person? Oh. I thought you were a player ghost. Whoa. You go straight from really annoying person with a bow to really annoying person with a giant shield. That's an impressive combination of annoying. <laughs> okay, sure. We're just gonna do spinning jump slashes, huh? Oh, wow, wow, wow. That's a lot of damage. Jeez. Jeez, you have HP on you.
Oh, you... You can't get dodge roll iframes on me. That's cheating. Jeez. I don't know how many runes I got from that, but I feel like it wasn't enough. Are you really supposed to be setting up traps? You don't seem like the kind who would do that. There's no imps in here. I mean, there were actually, but you're not one of them. And I'm assuming you're not allied to them either. Ah, uh, are you another one of those giant ones with the bows? Hmm. Okay, so that's somewhere we can go. In fact, that looks like that's probably where we're supposed to go. Wow, that did nothing! <laughs> what a wild waste! got a spear. How different are you? Oh, yep. Straight through the wall. I should have known better. Whoa! It's not the direction I was trying to roll in. billion HP. Can't you get sloppy? Okay, now you decide to go for something after all that time, huh? Huh. <sighs> wow, those things have so much health. Alright, so that was out of that staircase. This is down this staircase. Oh, okay, and we just straight up couldn't get to that one. Pardon me. Actually, wait, who's fighting who here? I feel like I have no idea what the, like, allegiances that are supposed to be on display here are. Clearly, I need to do more sprinting and not looking around, trying to figure out the lore of what's happening. Alright, 
let's just run straight through here. Wasn't this where I came to earlier? Oh, it is. Wait, are you trying to tell me the lever was down here somewhere and I missed it? Okay, this was not productive. Isn't it just back up to where I was at? Yeah. Alright, I'm clearly missing something. Well, at this point, it doesn't really matter if I die. still do infinity damage for little gargoyles. I'm lost. Yeah, no. I was trying to read that. Huh, okay. I feel like I've been to every corner of this. So I'm definitely missing a door. or a lever, or some other form of obvious progression that I'm supposed to see. Let's try doing this one again, and instead of jumping, actually continuing to go, because I still haven't figured out how to get over there either. Oh, okay. Oh, that's gonna go badly. Alright, what if I were to keep walking? You wouldn't shoot an arrow at me, would you? You would. Ow. Okay, yeah, I thought this was a dead end, and is in fact a dead end. I really want to read those to see if they're helpful at all. Huh. I guess I could just try to take the time to clear out every single one of these, but I don't know if I'm going to have the resources to do that. Everything has so much health. Try gesturing. Well, I could chill long enough to let them fight one another more, but they don't actually seem to hit each other for damage all that often. Occasionally they kill each other and I get experience. No, come on. Come on out. This is the area that I wanted to explore. Because messages told me to come in here. And then messages told me to gesture.
right, so those are easy enough to clear out. I wouldn't have any clue what gesture to use. The gesture message is except in one place are the biggest trolls. <laughs> that one place where you have to put on the hat, I'm assuming. the attention of one of the enemies, it looks like. I guess if I just chill long enough, maybe they'll all kill one another? Oh, do they gradually fall down out of this middle area? I bet that's what happens. That's why the bottom slowly fills up. Okay, and this was just the door that we need to find the lever for. We are in an our summon zone. That definitely feels like the area I'm supposed to be getting to, but I don't know how I'm supposed to get over there. always get staggered by jump attacks? Every time? Oh, that makes this easier. Not if you get your iframe dodge rolls on me, though. This is cheesable. The next area, I'm less confident in my ability to cheese. Is there no enemy there? Okay. I mean, so this is another window that leads down into being able to jump into that place. Which isn't actually helpful. Although there's an area up there. Oh, was there one more area that I missed? Or rather, one more zone that I forgot about. One more section to this upper area. Oh, you didn't get staggered. Okay, yeah, there it is.
Okay. Wait. How did I... Oh, I jumped out that window thinking it was this window. That's how I got so confused earlier, thinking I had gone everywhere and that that didn't lead anywhere meaningful. Wow, okay. I have been thoroughly bamboozled. You're just gonna continue pretending to just be a statue, huh? And you're gonna just stab me, super stab me, huh? Oh, you two are just straight up allied. How rude. Oh, that's bad. That's also bad. That's also super bad. Wow, that just instantly Scarlet rots you, huh? Oh, and I got thrown down into this area. Cool. Big friendly. Alright, now I gotta live with this. Oh, well. At least I can pick up this while I'm here. Whoop. Which was the way up? Was it this? It was not. It was that one. Alright, have fun down there with the rest of your friends. Please don't come up and say hi. I guess I have to be close for them to actually take damage, because they weren't taking damage when I was up in the other area. Do I have, like, possibly some sort of item? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Wow. Using consumables for intended purposes. Love to see it. And that one we can just safely ignore. All right. If you're willing to continue to pretend to be statues for long enough for me to just combo each of you individually to death, that is fine by me. Using super rare consumables is fine by me because, I don't know, I feel like I'm going to never use them on a fight that's hard. Because I'm going to convince myself, oh, no, 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 don't save it. You might not actually get anywhere this run, and then it's wasted. So I might as well use them in spots where they're useless. Oh. Come on. There we go. No, that's not what I was looking for. Actually, stop locking on, please. I would like to run away now that we have knocked them off. I really have no interest in actually fighting them. Somehow, despite not having killed any enemies, I'm up like 30,000 runes just from being in this dungeon and trying to find out what I'm supposed to be doing while all these other super mobs kill one another. Oh, there's another 2,000. Wait, what was it here? Probably... Nothing? Above me. Maybe? Huh. Okay. That must be where all those things that were pretending to be statues would have come back to life. I 
I suppose I should probably go deposit some of these level ups before we continue to go get our butt kicked by a boss. I don't know why this is so hard for me to see. I guess now that I actually have all of my best equipment equipped, short of just pumping more health, which is getting kind of boring, I guess maybe now we just start dumping it into strength? Certainly we're beginning to hit content where I am not doing enough damage, which is a good indication that I'm probably supposed to start dumping it into strength again. We have passed the point at which I was ac at, yeah, at which I was accidentally two-shotting bosses. Okay. Okay. You again, huh? Last time we fought, I couldn't tell any of your moves because you were filling up the entire screen. It seems like maybe that's going to be the case again. Stop holding on to me. Okay, nope. I don't get to do anything fancy. Whoa, okay. Getting stuck inside the boss when it falls down to have its poise broken does not really give you any opportunity to go do the critical hit, huh? Uh, this is a deck strength weapon, but because I'm two-handing it, I have no clue whether the strength scaling is actually better than the deck scaling or not. But also, I have no interest in, like, leveling up decks. <laughs> I might find a cool weapon that uses strength. Probably not. Oh, I should have done this from outside. Oh, well. Oh, I thought I was rolling through that. I guess not. And I guess I'm not rolling through this either. Okay, well, I guess that just kills you. Oh, that is true. We got that Radon Remembrance that we can do something with. get great swords too. I suppose nerds should have something to aspire to. Pardon me. No, 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 knock it off. Oh, okay. You just do a hit on Wake Up. Okay. Mm, wish my stamina would come back a little quicker. Whoa, hello. Oh, okay. 
I just didn't have my hand on the roll button. I feel like this might actually be tough. Jeez. Oh. Huh. How do I dodge that? When he glows, you just run? <laughs> I don't know if there's anywhere to run to. Let's try a tiny bit of cheese. I'm not even sure what I got hit by. Oh, okay. I'm just dead. Apparently. Okay. Well, I was hoping that would give me a little more endurance, but... Yeah, there's no rolling through that, is there? Okay, maybe we try cheesing in a different direction then. Look at me, I'm over here. Okay, you were aiming at me. I did not think you were. I see. I thought that didn't happen until you hit 50 HP. But it can happen earlier than that, apparently. Uh, 
That's the glow? No, that's not the glow. That's also not the glow. That's the glow. No, that is like the entire room! I guess it did, a little, it did a lot less damage, even though it hit me and staggered me while I was far away. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That wasn't the hit. Okay, I need to actually learn what those animations look like, because I can't tell when he's doing that overhead swing compared to just rolling around normally. Once again, I really wish I didn't have to run so far to keep redoing this. Whoa. I'm not actually sure what hit me just then. Yeah, oh, jeez. Now this usually feels like the part where you do the giant explosion. Oh, that's what's happening. There are little spots in the middle of the room that have little vertical explosions coming up off of them. You need to see. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. Okay, that's why the range felt so weird. Whoa. Oh, okay.
I saw that coming and thought I was rolling in time. Huh, I really thought you were gonna go for the explosion. But you're not. You're just straight up not going for the explosion. Huh. Okay. So it's not guaranteed to do the explosion after every stance break. That's good to know. Too early. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, or I could just manage to dodge it with the iframes from the attack. Sweet. That works, too. I was trying to drink the mana potion and accidentally unequipped my shield and then lost track of what was happening trying to get the shield re-equipped and re-two-hand my weapon. Uh, I don't think I need any assistance. This feels doable. And at the very least, pounding my head against something where it feels like I'm sort of making progress, getting better at it, doesn't really bother me. This should be the part where you try to turn colors, right? No? Yes, it is. I wonder if when they hit that HP threshold, I need to just start acting 
like they're going to do it. Stop running away when I use the weapon art. Absolutely, I was right on how that works. Stop dodging! I need to actually land all of these. What is that roar? Whoa, that did a lot of damage. That must have been the bleed proc. Wow, that life total just evaporated right then. Okay. Ooh. Red main knight Olga. Ooh, and a gold seed. Cool. Let's recover those zero lost runes. 64,000. All right, that's healthy. Anything else? No. No, okay. I'm satisfied. Okay, and let's level up with these before I forget about them. And since I've completely given up on the idea that my damage is not high enough or is too high, I forget which way is technically correct, let's keep pumping strength. Okay. So we can go back here. Press Y and then X. Oh, no kidding. All right. That is helpful. All right, NPCs, what do you have to say? Nothing. What do you have to say? Nothing. Okay. What do you have to say? What do you have to say about them? Okay, so you don't have anything to say. What about you? Nothing. And I don't believe that I had anything. Yeah. I mean, I guess I could purchase keys, but I've already got three, so probably not. You can visit the castle again. Ah, okay, okay. That makes sense. All right, how about you? Yeah, since apparently that's the only way to progress your thing, let's keep doing that. Demenzio, thanks for the follow. Glad you're enjoying the stream. In truth, it's about the Black Knife Prince that fascinate dear Roger so. Oh? But it wouldn't be right to give this to him. Dark as he is, in the round table hole. Perhaps you could make use of it? Okay. I had another prompt to talk to you with, though. I 
I'm assuming that means that I am supposed to use this item. And then talk again. Very useful looking dagger. Gave it to me as a gift. It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. So I would like for the original owner to have it back. If you wouldn't mind. I'd like you to it's a very precious thing. Hmm. To you, my dear. Somebody gave something to you and now you're regifting it? I guess not even regifting it, you're just like flat out returning it to them? I suppose that seems vaguely rude, but here we are. Yeah, can we upgrade? We can upgrade both of these nerds. Alright. And did we have the ability to upgrade any of our swords? No. No, we did not. Okay. And did you have anything to say? If you fell asleep? What? I'm like the kindliest old man here. Hmm. That might be the most insulting thing that I've had said to me so far. Alright, what do you have to say? Oh, Radon spears or arrows. Adorable. Okay. Now this might be armor that I could actually wear if I pumped endurance. Interesting. It's not as cool as my robe, though. But 28 poise seems like a lot. How much does my current armor give? Like 14? 16. Yeah, it's a lot more poise. Get us up to like 50 poise that way? Hmm, tempting. We'll have to keep that in mind. Alright, and this can be either a colossal sword. It, yeah, it is int scaling, or just a bow. It is also not interesting. Kind of makes me just want to crack both of them for XP. But, I don't know. Maybe we'll read stat at some point. So holding on. Well, I can always copy them. Yeah, why not? Alright. Let's go ahead and pop those for a bunch of experience then. Oh, only 20,000? That's like... Not actually anything. Forty thousand's a little better. Okay. Then I would like big armor, big helmet, big pants, big gloves. And now we have a goal to actually wear all of that. Probably not the helmet first. All right, immediately heavy load, huh? What about 
lighter pants. What kind of helmet can we wear? Oh, we can go back to our hood. All right. Well, that's kind of nifty. Although now we're more of a yellow turtle instead of a red one, which means I'm going to need to find a matching hat. Actually, do I have a matching hat of any kind? I cannot wear many of my hats. This is technically a matching hat. Sort of. All right. Clashing a little stylistically, but we're a little bit of a yellow and gold. <laughs> all right, all right, it kind of works. <sighs> now let's see. I'm assuming that great rune... Where is it? Huh, five. I feel like I should be able to upgrade my hammer a little more here, but probably not even worth using the resources on. Okay. Great Reign of the Unborn. Radon's Great Rune, devoid of any benefiction. Kaelin. Okay. Perfect. We already did that one. This was a door we couldn't open that I'm assuming we can now open. I was standing so close to the edge of that. This hat is so silly. I love it. And more finger wood things. This certainly looks a lot like the two fingers that are chilling in the round table, only dead ones, huh? Maybe. Now, where did I... Oh, yeah, back at the campfire. All right, so let's go back here to that impassable Great Bridge. And then do some leveling up of the Endurance. And check out our Great Runes. Raises all attributes, raises... HP, FP, and Stamina. That doesn't seem better in any meaningful way. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, that's almost believable. And there's not even that many blood stains. Nope. All right. In my defense, there weren't that many blood stains. And that did look like a spot where an item would be. I kind of assumed that it was going to wrap around. Like anything has changed here. Inside, is there now those doors that had items behind them open? Maybe. All the doors with items behind them still closed. And what about you nerds who are just standing around? Also, when did we start roasting soldiers? You lot are still just standing around. Okay. And... The announcer's gone. But you are still here. In a new spot. Okay. Well, tiny bit of lore, I suppose. Oh, and now that's just actually straight up closed off. Interesting. Okay, so we were heading to Mistwood next? I seem to be told. That's new. Definitely don't recall floating rocks. Speaking of, since we're in the area, let's check in with the noble who was doing nothing. Reload the bonfire for a boss fight. Reload the bonfire where? Do you have anything to say? No. Now we think possibly the festival has changed. Aha! Uh -huh. 
Misbegotten Warrior. Oh, another one of you. Oh, okay. Slow on that one. Oh! That's a different pattern. That's the pattern I'm familiar with. <laughs> I got messed up on the timing on that because it actually swung around to the other side instead of just doing the whole loop. Okay. That... Seems doable if it's only the two of them. I'm sort of suspicious it's probably not just going to be the two of them. You still don't mess around at all, even after all this time. Okay, I'm definitely still not actually allowed to get greedy. We're just gonna have to cheese this out. By only taking small hits when it's safe. correctly. You just don't stop being hard, huh? Oh, right, that's a three now. What? Whoa, really? That wasn't in time, huh? Jeez. 
Alright, alright, alright. I, I get it, I get it. I forgot how to fight you. And now you're making fun of me. You know what? I don't technically need to put up with this anymore. I could just cheese this out. The less slow and boring way. Did you just stance break my summon? See, if you wanted me to not cheese the fight, you could have just fed me more of those where you put the shield on the back. But if you don't do that, I get bored. <sighs> Think the Crucible has been historically tough for you because you only use two-handers with slow attacks? That's fair. That's fair. I actually watched somebody else fighting the Crucible Knight in the... Um, Ever jail, and I gotta say, I was like wicked disappointed by how easy that fight is if you use a shield and just parry the attacks instead of needing to find openings to do like one hit with a slow two hander after the only move that has an opening. <laughs> I'm happy to cheese the occasional fight, but it does rob a little bit of the feeling of satisfaction from, like, succeeding at the fight. But that particular fight, like, I've spent enough time slamming my head against Crucible Knight to memorize all the patterns before. It doesn't feel super satisfying to do it a second time. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that it's invalid to cheese bosses in this game, but I do think that there's a sense of satisfaction I get out of beating certain bosses in straightforward ways and just, like, mastering certain patterns that I do feel somewhat like I have denied myself some satisfaction if I choose to cheese bosses with strategies that are not super fulfilling. <laughs> but... That's entirely related to how I enjoy the process of getting better at stuff. Let's see. Okay. Then we were going back to here. And I don't think anybody else beating a boss in any particular way robs me of any kind of satisfaction. It's just... I was slightly disappointed to see a streamer beating Crucible Knight with a shield because... I was anticipating and excited for their suffering, and I was denied getting to witness that suffering. <laughs> I feel like Caleb on your map has the word fe world feeling so far. In terms of like a lore standpoint? Oh, okay, those are two different trees. That's why. Um... I think I'm slowly piecing together some of the lore, although I would say I have a vague sense of, like, knowing 15% of the lore. <laughs> On the world from a Chris standpoint? I don't know. I feel like that's too broad to actually give super meaningful commentary on, if I'm being honest. 
I'm enjoying the world. I feel like there's a lot of environmental storytelling going on that I have not actually pieced together. Like, there's a lot of different armies in different areas, and I can't entirely tell which armies belong to which factions and what do all the different players involved in the story want and I assume that I will eventually get more answers to that but it means that so far a majority of the world is a tone piece to me and not necessarily a cohesive world. Yeah. I'm not sure this is entirely how physics works. I don't feel like you just dig a hole with an impact crater. It kind of feels like that's maybe magical. How do we go down? Because I am sure this very strange impact crater must have left a convenient ramp down into it. Because that's how physics works. <laughs> Please play MTG. There's fewer and fewer competent streamers every day. Uh, I'm definitely going to play quite a bit more MTG. No worries about that. Although, maybe a slightly less until I finish Elden Ring. That actually has less to do with Elden Ring, though, to be honest, and more to do with just, like, I tend to take kind of, not like a hiatus, but just, like, any time there's a major tournament, I spend so much time practicing for it on and off stream that when it's done, I have, like, so much other stuff books and whatnot that I want to catch up on that previously before I was doing a bunch of like YouTube stuff I would have just like stopped streaming for a week and kind of just taken a sabbatical but now I'm still doing magic content so I have stuff to upload to YouTube but probably going to be doing fewer hours of that and more hours of other stuff in fact the fact that I've actually been streaming Elden Ring has kind of taken the place of stuff that I would have done off-stream instead previously. But I think that that's kind of an important part of balancing something like magic, that when it comes time to become good at a deck, or, like, competent at a deck, I guess, you, you have to put in so many hours and dedicate so much of your life to it that, like, you kind of need to be able to step away from it so you don't burn yourself out. And someone telling me you still expect to get answers from environmental storytelling? I mean, I don't feel like I'm expecting to get answers from anywhere other than the environmental storytelling, if any indication anybody's ever given me about these games is to be believed. I feel like jumping on this is going to get me killed. Yep. Well, that was some interesting double overlaid text. Sometimes you just gotta jump on something because you know that there's like a 80% chance it's gonna kill you, but a 20% chance that maybe there'll be a cool item back there. I suppose the good news is, as far as, like, super crazy, powerful hordes of defensive, well, defenders goes, a city that just got hit by a meteor is probably going to be 
I don't know, like, slightly less populated with defenders? Which way was it? This way? Melted mushroom. Yeah, it seems fitting. I gotta say, this is a weird... Okay, so there's... We've got backstory going on about, oh, the Radon has been holding the stars in place because super powerful gravity magic. And that's holding... Ronnie's fate still, whatever that means. We must kill Radon to allow fate to continue moving. And the form that took is a meteor didn't like unlock anything. It just literally shot a hole into a city that we couldn't figure out a way to get into. And now we have a hole. Is that meant to be how the fates work? Is that slightly... What? Wow, you just die in one. Okay, I thought you were gonna be, like, hard to kill. Hmm. But yeah, I guess that's how fates work. Oh, you're not a chest. Huh, okay. Oh, you didn't die that time. I was really expecting oozes to take a lot less damage. Are oozes nerds? Because most of the other new... Uh, oozes have been extremely hard to kill, and I had to pull out my trusty torch to do it. That's not even remotely where I was trying to jump to, but because I was locked on, the camera decided to twist right as I jumped. <laughs> Yay. Oh. Oh, that's disgustingly far away that I have to run. There's gotta be a closer grace to do this from. This can't be the intended distance that I'm supposed to run every time I fall off a cliff in there. Here we shall accept chat backseating. Is there a grace that I have been running past? Or a grace that I am supposed to have that I just don't that's closer than the one I'm at? Wow, they just really wanted to go that far for the grace down there, huh? Okay. Now let's take a moment to think about this architecture. Is this supposed to be like a support structure? Because there's certainly no inside to that. That's not like a hallway or anything. It's just... 
a thing that goes off to nowhere. Ow. Oh. Rude. I got very freaked out and thought that there was going to be a drop there. Come on, let me get up. This time, I think we're just going to ignore you entirely. Yeah, you don't do enough damage for me to care, I think. You do, however, apparently shoot pretty fast. Okay. Now again, we have a bunch of old dead people hanging over cliffs, as is, at this point, extremely traditional. Did this city just get hit by a meteor, or has it been like this for a while now? Because it really doesn't make sense for there to be old skeletons if the city just got like, nuked by a meteor. I'm assuming it was a tiny meteor that punched a hole into it? Is that really survivable? No, okay, this is, though. But I'm guessing most of the destruction is probably not supposed to be from that. Oh, you're not dead? Also, what are you? You're not quite skeletons? Ow. Frosty arrows, okay. That kind of them do not actually have tracking on their arrows. I'm actually a little, like, absurd. <sighs> no, it feels to me a little absurd how much the atmosphere of this segment of descending into the city is getting <laughs> completely ruined by how long this ride is and how it immediately keeps warping me back out to a totally different tonal area. Turning on the lantern is probably a good idea.
What if I just ignored everything? Right, you don't die in one. <laughs> Possibly still a little too far for that segment, but maybe you're not expected to die as many times to falling as I did. Which was probably like three times. No, more than that actually. Four? Okay, that's the way we came from. This is the way we're going. Alright. So... Another underground city. What the heck? You had a lot of ability to tank that for somebody so tiny. Yeah, probably not. I was gonna say, were you just chilling in the bushes there? You looked like there might have been somebody there. Where exactly are we? What? Isn't that... What? But... There's water here. Am I lower than I was before? Am I higher than I was before? How can I be higher when there's water? Or is gravity just weird here and we're upside down? That doesn't make sense, because I haven't flipped upside down. What? Gonna just keep going, huh? Water levels are relative. You're underground. Is that? I I guess that's sort of true. Kind of. I'm not entirely sure that's how water levels work. Just cause like. Where does that water come from? What's the source? I mean, it's not evaporating, so it's getting replenished by something, right? Hmm. Ghost glove work picker's bone bell bearing. 
Oh, okay. So I'm assuming that unlocks the ability to pick a, or to purchase the spirit ash upgrade material from the home base. Oh, all right, more of those. I think that's three now. They give you a lot of respects if you want them. I guess the thing that's most confusing is I just, relative here to when we were running around this area, are we above or below it? probably going to get a spot we get to look at that makes that clearer eventually. Oh, okay, this is a staircase. Oh, that's weird. So the... Hmm, all right, maybe this is the way the topography of caves works. Oh. You're that thing that seemed weird that you were a boss earlier. Yeah, but... Would I just get another one of those immediately? That feels like that's more than I need. By a lot. How many times does this game expect you to respec in one run? is basically useless for keeping track of where I am at the moment. Oh, but... No, wait, that's absolutely not where we were at earlier. It's a different giant dead person. Huh. Okay, interesting. was under. Uh. Nah, because the giant dead person was actually, like, way over there. Oh, I mean to say that that giant dead person isn't the giant dead person we were right next to earlier, specifically. There's news. I'm just gonna walk up to that ooze and smack it. That should be fine. Oh? Oh? Ow. Not 
Na klar. What's the thing they did where they held the sword out in front of them? Can you do that? Oh! Huh. Neat. <laughs> nah, probably no magic until Monday if I had to guess. I don't actually, like, have any deck ideas right now. So I'm gonna have to think something up for Monday. What? Weird. Can I not actually use this grace? Wait, is this what those fake graces were for? No, wait. What was the fake grace thing? This thing. That way? Huh. Weird. Can that boss be cheesed by equipping all items? I'm assuming you can probably just go in naked and have a punch-to-death fight. <laughs> that would be kind of amusing, probably. Oh, come to think of it, what item did that drop? I forget how we changed the menu to show newest thing first before. Still no other curved greatswords. list. Aha! Got five of these? Jeez. I'm guessing it was one of these spells I haven't kept track of. We can use that grace, just move around a bit, because it's bugged. Okay. Oh, yeah, it is super bugged, huh? <laughs> What item did we get from that fight? Oh, we're barely short of leveling up. Yeah, trying to figure out what we got from that boss.
get so distracted by the weird Oh. Are you gonna use? It's a hat. Okay. Silver tear mask. Huh. Alright, but too heavy for the time being. Walking, walking, walking. Also, where did Blade say we were gonna meet? He mentioned in Mistwood, but I didn't see him. Maybe I should go back up and actually try to find him? Or is he further down here? In the interest of saving time. Should I be backtracking or not, I suppose? Just explore here? Alright. The meeting's over and done with, even though we didn't meet. Alright, I've left his progress. No item ahead. I mean, I believe you, but... I must verify. Because you didn't meet, there is and was no meeting. Wait, we can be on a horse? Thank you for telling me we can be on a horse. That makes this much easier. At some point, I should probably look at what's in the crafting menu. Oh, all right. These folks again. There are a lot of people in this game who look like the exact same person. Lord of Blood. That feels new. Mogwin Dynasty. I have not heard that name yet. What are you even looking at? Can't tell. Wow, that camera is really aggressively spinning without my intervention or control when it detects the edges of a pillar. Yeah, that, that, why, what is going on? What is it doing? It's never done that before on anything else. I'm not touching the camera stick. Like, you can run into one of these walls and it behaves normally. These pillars, for some reason, make your camera automatically turn if you walk into them while on a horse? Wow, that's weird. That feels like a really strange glitch.
you can see these other <laughs> characters having the same thing where they just instantly dive bomb into the wall. Huh, all right. Well, I guess we're going down this way now. So much for landing on one of those pillars. Clarifying horn charm plus one. What's a clarifying horn charm? Greatly raises focus. I don't know what that is. There's a lot of spots in this zone that feel like a lot of walking for, like, not a lot of reward. That looks like that would probably kill me. It also seems like it's probably useless. Retrieve socks. Okay. Focus is mana. Uh, all right. Be right back. How long are you going to stick around, bud? Make sure not to hit the microphone. Alright, where were we? Here and trying to explore an area that does not seem very populated by stuff, but is extremely large. Okay, you mud nerds again. Oh. This doesn't seem like it's going to work particularly well, to be entirely honest. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. Socks, um, we're gonna need you to stop stepping on that and pulling it. Because that's getting disorienting. Okay. Oh, alright, we're laying on the arm. 
Yeah, we'll see how long we can do that. Oh, that's drinking. Super gonna fly. Mini crabs. Still lots of birds. Come to think of it, why are there so many birds down here? I guess there must be an opening on this cave somewhere. We gotta not be doing that. Must we? Okay, what about there? Now are we out of range of the tail? Now we seem to be out of range. Okay. What is it about this game that so entices you into watching it, Socks? Yeah, it looks like an item. Okay, are you a mini boss nerd by any chance? Oh, it's you again. But this time you have way less HP. And I have a horse. Ooh. Oh, okay. That hurt. Apparently. Are we sure that was a great enemy? It didn't feel like a great enemy. More scar seals? Does that count as the same? Oh, I see. It's a scar seal, but for nerd stats. Eh. Oh. Lame. How come this game has so many nerd items? I don't feel like I'm doing a very good job being thorough with the exploring this time around, but maybe I've just got to learn to embrace that. How did we... Oh, I see. Now you're just far enough along that you can actually thwap the cord and not the other earbud. Uh, that's probably not going to kill me. that weird looking? Nope. Is this weird looking? Nope. The zone just feels very strangely empty. Up to and including, wow, I feel 
ludicrous. Wait. I was gonna say I feel cheated because there's nothing here, but. I actually just successfully platformed my way back down to the area that I've been to this entire time, huh? Alright, well, I guess that entire <laughs> journey downwards <laughs> was a whole bunch of just connection. All right, well, that would explain why it felt weird and empty. I mean, I guess there was a boss. Wait, was I supposed to be able to get to that boss earlier in the game somehow? Is that why that boss had so low HP and damage? And a weaker moveset of a boss I had already beaten? Because I'm kind of getting the impression I was somehow supposed to be able to get to that last time we went to the bottom of the map. <laughs> oh, this again? Wait, you're not shooting me. Why are you glowing like you were shooting me? Oh. No, you're just singing. Okay. No, cool. Chill. Bye-bye, kitty. What is... Oh, hello. Singing count as growling? I think singing counts as, like, actively not growling. What are you? Oh, it's this area we saw from further away. You're weird. Oh, there's lots of you weirdos. All right. Um... Okay, so this way then. Knight's Sacred Ground. Huh. Well, we found gods of stars, and gods of trees, and god of madness? Was the god of madness also the god of blood? Hmm. Okay. It would kind of track that there's a god of night. Oh. What was that? Litter there, like there actually was a dung beetle that I missed. I'm guessing. God of blood is someone else. Oh, silver tear. Just, just a naked person who gets their own name, for whatever reason. I hope I get my name in a giant red bar above my head when I'm naked. I'm gonna go let the kitty cat out. Ooh. suppose you can have melodic growling. That sort of works. Alright, where were we 
we're going. Oh, no horse here. Uh, that direction probably. This direction probably not. Ooh, but that direction maybe. This direction probably not. guessing I'm supposed to go up here and not drop down, but that looks like a place to go. Black wet blade. So that probably lets me add more types of damage to things. Oh, cool. I'm all coated in ink. Can I get more coated in ink? No? Nah, that's too bad. Probably would have looked cool. Best spirit ash in the game. Alright. So we believe this to be worth using, huh? That was weird. I can't roll. I couldn't roll or attack, so I thought you were a friendly NPC. Mimic Tear Ashes. Oh. All right, so we get to summon a copy of ourself, huh? Interesting. And... That is who? You? HP cost 660. FP costs zero. So if I wanted this to be my summon buddy, I could respec to not have to put any points into mind at all? Interesting. All right. We'll have to give that a try and see what happens. Can we jump down now? All right. Not terribly lethal. And now everybody worships a giant marble? Huh, okay. Well, this is gonna be an interesting section. Because this definitely feels like a gimmick. Okay. So, despite the ball hitting them for nothing, the ball hits me for a lot. Okay, could I perhaps interest you in not? I am extremely stuck. Thank you, ball, for backing off. Thank you. All right, are we done? This is silly. Can I hit the ball? Okay, I can't. the ball is actually an enemy. I probably should have figured that out earlier. That makes this easier. I don't know why I just assumed that I had to do an entire encounter just running away from an indestructible ball. Wow, they just 
love throwing respects at you once you get to this point. Wow. He's pretty. That's also pretty. Alright, so we're able to summon things now. Alright, me. Let's go. Oh, you even know how to put it on your back and not actually use the shield. Look at you go. Nope, never mind. Oh, the items, though. All right. Well, I'm sorry, why are you just not getting hit? Yeah, okay. Thank you, me. Because I couldn't hit that, apparently. damage. There we go. I mean, they're kind of doing it. Oh, you're gone already? That's not terribly long. Whoa. Okay. Why did you get staggered from two hits? What? Weaker than the real ones. How'd I hit the head? I thought I was just attacking his feet. I guess I have a very big sword. No, oh, that works. All right. Teleporty thingy. Any horseback? Nope. Still no horseback. Last time we got like a plus infinity spirit glove thing. Finger Slayer Blade. And another great ghost glove wart. Huh. Finger sling blade. Oh, is it a talisman? No. What? Did I just miss it? a key item. Oh.
Oh, that's our hidden treasure. Huh, I thought I was going on a side path. Interesting. Okay, so what's the rest of the area? So still don't really know what the greater will is, other than that the fingers, or at least the two fingers, claim to be serving it. Nakron did something bad. Huh. Interesting. Can I light this? I can't. Cool. All right. Looks like we're lighting some torches again. So it turns out this area was the side quest, despite me thinking that it was where I was actually supposed to be going. Somber smithing stone number five again. Whoa, hello, pupper. I recall seeing one of you before. Oh, okay. Yeah, magic puppers. Whoa, okay. You do hits while you're doing that. Okay, you know what? Hold on. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Chill, 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 chill. Chill, pupper. Let me just spam L2. As one does when things need to die. Alright, so that's two torches. Oh, come to think of it, I didn't take the teleporter down at the other place. Hmm. Ooh, hello, jellyfish. You usually mean something secret is nearby. This way? Yeah. Ooh, a little bit stuck, though. Still a little bit stuck. Secret dungeon inside of a secret dungeon? It's a nice reward if you use nerd points. Hmm. What, pray tell, the hell are you doing here? Oh, come on. No cheesing you, huh?
All right, time to remember how this fight works. not free. Stop it. Stop it. Wow. We just didn't want to stop doing that same move, comboing into the same move over and over, huh? <sighs> I don't even remember which direction we went in. Was it this direction? Wait. Oh, no, of course we couldn't have our horse for this part. All right, nerd. Where'd all my swords go? How did you do another hit after that? Oh, that's not my healing item. Stop it. <sighs> I'm so unwilling to be patient for this fight, but it's really not going to give me any other options in here. I suppose I could just ignore the nerd. Why are you here? What is it about your timing is it's so hard compared to everybody else? Oh, that's still not healing. Come on.
Are you really gonna do that in here? Okay. What? What? Always time for new tech, huh? Yeah, I don't know why I expected the giant wall to do anything. What happens if... Huh. I don't think he died? Did he die? Did you die? It doesn't look like he died. But that also looks like that is an option. Okay, no backstabs to be had. Oh, too early? All right. Yeah, okay, I thought that might work. <laughs> uh, oh, golden centipedes. Nifty. Could this be a lift? Bug ahead, bug ahead. Uh, all right. Why were you here? Who exactly are these crucible nerds? Wait, what? Was that a different color? No. Just kind of looked like it. Only had a sorcery. What does sorcery do there? I suspect there aren't any flying sorceries. What are you? Be wary of circling around, dog ahead. Weak foe ahead. arms ahead. Oh, okay. Or we could just not be able to backstab. Well, I had to make this fight too easy, and I wouldn't want to cheese it, you know. Oh, hello. Uh, pray tell, what was that? Oh, are you another one of those nerds? Ow. You're a lot less interesting without shields, though. Oh, is that the one I needed? I think that might have been the one I needed.
Mm-hmm. Oh, are those things scarabs? Kind of a mistake to just call it a dung beetle, huh? Now, come on. There we go. Order healing. Huh, okay. Seems like another one of those nerd things. Do 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 Guess we're going this way now. Still can't actually tell which direction is progress. I feel like I started walking this way thinking that I was going into a tiny dungeon. And now I am in a big question mark area. It might be a dungeon, but probably is just more open world. This is not the kind of secrets I was really looking for out of a waterfall. I was hoping for something more interesting when we finally had a waterfall with secrets in it. But sometimes the secrets is just enemies. Uh huh. And just a smithing stone. Okay. Nothing? Really? It's incredibly disappointing. Oh. You appear to be a person. person who is asleep or ignoring me. Hard to tell. Okay. Chill. You do you. I mean, that technically counts as a repeated dialogue, right? Just to double check? Yeah. Okay. feel like committing all of my runes to a boss at the moment. D, beholder of... Wait, what? Really? Are you the same D? You don't look like the same D. Weather dagger. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Did you need something else? That doesn't feel like the way that quest was supposed to be resolved. Went to the boss. We're gonna fight the boss. I've just got, you know, sixty thousand souls. That is the dagger that Fia gave me. I think. That feels like that was a bad end to that quest. sword. Do I even have... 
Ooh, I could upgrade Loodle. Or... I could upgrade these ones. Sorry, Loodle. I am my new best friend. That's weird. Is this cape a different color now than it used to be? Oh, I'm probably just coated in moss, is all. Okay, so sit at a bonfire. I think we were on this one. And then we were going back to leveling up endurance. See how many heavier boots we could equip. We can get up to this now? Alright. You don't respawn, right? No. Lovely. Alright, let's go fight a boss. Okay, well, that's advancement, technically. Weird that they have the same name, apparently. Valiant Gargoyle. Okay. Okay, I did suspect that was going to be too easy. How long until the other one actually shows up, I wonder? Yep, there's the poison. There's the other boss. Okay. So I should probably figure out how to kill the first one faster. thing. Wait, what? Oh, I lost the item equipment because I upgraded it. 
Right. Okay. Well, let's see about two on two. Make things fair. Right for me. Okay. First hit stun comboing into the second hit stun is harsh. Okay. Oh, I see. That actually just does a ton of damage in addition to the poison, so I can't just face tank it. running away you coward I need to kill you before your friend shows up Definitely need to not whiff so many of the early attacks on that first boss. That feels probably doable if you can kill the first one before the second one shows up. Which also might, unfortunately mean that I have not chosen to upgrade the most horribly correct companion for this fight. So I get the feeling Bo will be more useful. Poison, however, will probably not. Ow. Jeez, that's hard to time. Okay, that is a follow-up. Yeah, that's real bad, and then you're actually actively jumping backwards. And this time, that one's actually getting right into the fight. I wonder if this is one of those games where if an enemy's off-camera, it behaves more passively. And so if I am supposed to not look at where it comes from to see if that actually makes it stay out of the fight longer. Mm, I didn't even... 
How close were you when you spat all that poison that made it go all the way this far out? <sighs> okay. So maybe the arrows aren't actually useful, although, to be fair, the boss did get stuck. Behind a wall that did not allow. The arrows to hit it which makes the arrows worse. All right, come on. running away come on how am I supposed to kill you faster if you just only run away yeah I don't know if I'm supposed to tank that but it feels sort of correct stop spamming protective AoEs on yourself so that I can't actually do anything? Oh wow, you are getting right back in there, huh? Okay, that's real slow. One on its own isn't a slouch, either. I have dragon wound grease at all. Currently I've just been throwing on blood grease. running around and being invincible.
How is there poison everywhere? Oh, come on. That's not who I wanted to... They just stay so far out of range, impossible to hit. And then just spew poison attacks that seem to go everywhere. How, how did that not hit? Cool. And now I'm just up against a wall with the poison attack that's... Wow, this is like... They look like they have flesh. They don't look like they're made of stone, so I, I assumed, but yeah, me and the Mimic were both attacking with bleed weapons and it doesn't seem like they bleeded. Mmm. All right. We can do a little bit of a diversion. I'm beginning to suspect maybe I gave the knife to the correct person, and not just at random the first person I found. Huh. Okay. Well, maybe this D is dead now, suddenly. Twin armor, twin helm, twin gauntlet, twin greaves. Yeah, I did notice there was a little bit of a double... Okay. None of y'all really, like, care about that very much? I guess it means I don't get any more Baldigan's blessings. What do you have to say about that? Yeah, okay. Well... We are rapidly losing out on NPCs. Well, 
that's not the direction I'm supposed to go. Level. Level? I'm assuming asking what level we are? We're level 67. Hand over the twin armor set. Well, the alternative seems like doing nothing, and doing nothing doesn't seem exciting. teleport over here and then we're gonna go to sleep and come back Wasn't expecting the horse to disappear the second I jumped onto that. Hey, another person with a good taste in swords. Okay, bye-bye. Aha! All right, now let's try just a little bit of anchor. It's been a while. But if we can't make these things bleed, maybe we can make them anchor. You in here? Yeah, you are. Okay. You're not gonna make this any easier on me, are you? Wow. So mobile. This isn't really better at all. I was hoping it would stagger more, but it is not succeeding at that. This is definitely the wrong way to take this fight. Hammer does not match spammy L2. do this with a better weapon. 
I thought maybe they were super resilient to the slashing damage. But that does not seem to be the case. They seem to be taking considerably less damage from the hammer. Okay, well, once more into the breach. Okay, or not. Does the anchor not do strike? Does pierce. Uh, so we could do like a flail or a hammer. There we go. Alright, and do this. And do this. Time remember to heal. Alright, nerd. Please actually fight me quickly and stop running away. Stop running away. Wow. Okay, the timing on that's narrower than I thought. Okay. I'm just bad at this, apparently. Stop running away! Goodness, are you just gonna spam every attack that runs away? Why does every move this thing has involve getting out of range of damage? seen that one before. I feel like you're super incentivized to play super loose with it. because you actually want to kill the first one before the second one shows up. But, like, the RNG on if every attack is just an attack that runs away or leaves the boss completely invincible because of the shield around it is, like, kind of harsh. I should probably unequip the grease so the mimic stops wasting time applying it. Yep, there we go. Dodge the first attack. Somehow hit me with that even though I was dodging. Run away. And then run away again. And then run away more. And then spam that. And 
then run away again. And then run away again. Oh, cool. And then you can show up from behind and also spam poison. Wow. I feel like I need a way to cheese this fight harder because this is stupid. I don't even feel like a sense of satisfaction in this one because it's not like a matter of a pattern I can learn. It's just like a matter of hoping that the RNG on the first gargoyle is like not just constantly running away. Maybe we give this one a go this time. Well, I'm dead because I'm already in this and backed up against a wall. And then you just do it twice in a row. Wow. Ugh. This show up at 50% health, I'm guessing. Yeah. But like... I don't know. It feels like these two together have a bunch of moves that are just, like, actually completely undodgeable. So you just have to hope they don't do them, and that the second one doesn't show up particularly, like, the point at where it spawns in, and the point at which it decides to actually start getting engaged in the fight are different. But I guess that means I can take this first bit slower. Although that just lets the summons end up dying. This time he's charging right in, and the other guy's backing up towards him. Cool. Spamming poison. Complete invincibility. 
Oh, cool. It got all the way over here somehow. I think this is the first fight I've actively not enjoyed. What if we get the summon to coat the weapon in magic? Come on. Yeah, look at them just standing in it. Lovely. This is definitely the part of the map I want to pat this part of the fight on. Oh, cool. We spawned directly inside the other one. Poison! Fun stuff! Still can't do shit! Hmm. 
Mm. Wait, are you the wrong one? You are. When did I get locked onto the wrong one? Maybe stop standing in the poison. Maybe. Nope. Understandable. It's not like there's a spot without poison! <sighs> the annoying thing is that I don't really feel the need to go do something else because this feels beatable. It just feels like I need to sit here and hope for the right RNG, though. Which doesn't make it feel undoable. It just makes it feel not fun. I haven't yet felt like any of the other fights had that as an issue. Because, like, I need to get to the point where I'm fighting one of them with at least some health on my summons. But the summons kind of just sit there tanking the poison and dying if you roll poison early. And you also just have to hope the boss decides to stand next to you so you can actually hit it. doesn't just back up. And back up.
Now the other one spawns in. Come on. <sighs> yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm ready to go do something else. <sighs> that is wildly un unentertaining. Maybe wait until the second one shows up before using the Mimic. The trouble is that, like, the opening to burst it is in the time period between when it hits 50 health and before the other one shows up into the fight, and you kind of just... I guess maybe the Mimic doesn't actually... Yeah, all right. You know what? Maybe if its only purpose is to tank, maybe that's good enough. Don't even summon anything until after the first one is dead. That could be reasonable. I do not dislike that as a strategy. all my attacks. I get it.
Did he just get one shot because he got flung off the cliff? Could you maybe fall off the cliff? Just a little bit? Okay, we're done and we never have to do that ever again. <sighs> Alright, that is still somewhat satisfying, but... <laughs> oh, that is the first fight I have walked away from him in this game thinking I did not enjoy it. Now what do we do? I still can't believe the Mimic got knocked off the map. After all that effort to make that happen. Okay, so we have a different door out, I gather. What is... But that's it? But what's the point of that? No, 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 game. Game? There's progress to be had. Right? That, that cave is a different direction that we can go in. Right? That's a cave? I can go through the waterfall, right? Right, game? It's the biggest waterfall in the game. You're gonna put something behind the biggest waterfall in the game. Oh. Why? 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 Why am I okay with this? Why is this a thing? Who designed this? that my character's thought we've seen a thousand of these before why did we not try sleeping in every coffin why is the coffin now destroyed was this coffin only engineered for one-way trips up waterfalls
Look at this old man with his pajama bottoms. Let's change out of these horrible clothings. Okay, so I just straight up can't wear these pants yet. This technically is better. Does that mean let me wear better pants? Nothing with better poise. And then what if I two point nine? Okay. That's probably the best we're gonna get, I think. What does that put us at poise wise? 49? All right. Oh, then we should actually rest. Wow, I didn't get enough level, or <laughs> I didn't get enough from beating that boss to level up. <sighs> Could have done that. I'm sure that wouldn't have been helpful to have one more healing item. What are you? Oh! An Erd Tree avatar? But no health? And still punch. Just a regular one? the wall. Cool. Cool. Love the rock. Rock super cool. More rocks. Love them. Ow. Wow, I'm surprised that hit. Oh, 
come on now. Is that entirely necessary? Not worth it, not worth it, not worth it. Good enough. <sighs> could pop some runes. I could. Mostly I'm just offended, though, that it didn't give me, like, 90,000 for beating those two. Also, I think I didn't actually get any souls from killing that boss just then. Or, well, not boss. Regular enemy, I guess. Because I think that was the same number of runes that I already had. Alright, that's got to be enough, right? That's, lovely. That's gotta let me put on some new piece of equipment, surely. Better booties? Well, these booties are the same, but I guess they match better. Better gloves? Hmm, not quite. Better hat? Not meaningfully. But I do think, yeah, we can get our gloves up. Oh, that is a horribly mismatching color, though. But we can get up to 50 poise. We just have to find a way to do it. There we go. That's a slightly better color match. If you get souls after dying, they disappear. Yeah. I feared that might be what was the case. What is that? Oh, one of you. What are you? What? Oh, new ants. Thanks, I hate it. So I'm going to roll with the theory that the ants have been infesting the base of the tree, and that's actually the cause of pretty much everything negative in the entire game. Was that it? Where am I, by the way? Ah, uh, oof. Somewhere. Oh, a little bit of freeze. Oh, is this the bottom of the actually big tree? Whoa. I see. So it is time for real platforming now. Maybe not horse platforming. Oh, 
whoa, game, whoa, game. It's difficult to tell if we're still underground or not. Is that where we came from, maybe? Hmm, okay, so that's maybe a real direction. Whoa, whoa! Game definitely kind of freaking out a lot in this area. Alright, what about... Okay, yeah, here we go. That looks like it also leads more places. What? Oh. You're kind of just glitched into the geometry of the level, huh? Well, I won't bother you then. This whole zone seems to be doing wonders for my... the problem is bugs theory. given that there are bugs inside the tree. And the tree seems to be important for some reason. Unclear what this little divergence was for. No? All right. Anything back that way, back this way, doesn't look like it. All right, come on. I'm gonna die. Wow, I didn't die. I wasn't expecting to get to stand still to fight that. Actually, do I have... maybe... some sort of... acceptable... throwing thingy? Other than the parts of that that didn't work at all, it still went better than expected. Whoop. You know what? I'm getting the feeling that's not how I get up there. What if the tree is the source of all the problems? Mmm. I figure we'd come up with a better way to get rid of a tree than ants. If the tree is all the problems, I bet the ants are just trying to steal all the problems for themselves. And they can absorb the power of all the problems. This doesn't seem like an equitable solution either. That looks like a place I could go. I'm sorry, what? How did I get here? 
When did that happen? I... I fought the entire way here. When did I get turned around? I got over to here. Oh, and then I guess I went to that one to go backwards? Oh, maybe. Maybe I literally turned around at some point and then forgot about it. Like, maybe precisely right here? Yeah, come to think of it, maybe precisely right here. And I still never wound up in that cave. Wait a second. Then how do you... Well, you know what? At this point, I'm going to employ the magic power of ignoring that completely. Many things cease to become issues or concerns if you just ignore them completely. I feel like there should be something here. less than great. Okay, ants down, items collected. Oh, area much too big, no map, me sad. Wait, 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 wait. this is absolutely ginormous. How am I supposed to keep track of any of this? Demigods to die. 
Yeah, I think we found him. Those are more capital letters. To live in death. This is starting to make it sound like death is more of like an actual place. And less of like being dead. Uh, I may be starting to get the idea that like Capital D, death, and capital L, life, are like themes. Maybe. Wouldn't want to be too hasty on judging that kind of thing. Oh god, I'm never going to be able to tell where I am in here. Holy cow, we got a lot of bugs suddenly. So incredibly turned around. Don't know where I am. Oh, okay, we're back here again. Jeez, this is... Okay, 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 and that's where that is. Mental map slowly, slowly developing. What? <sighs> okay, okay. So then this thing around the water... Got it. Still mostly... What are you? Oh, you're another one of those petrify thingies, but that doesn't look like petrify colors are... No, oh, okay, that is, I guess. You just, for whatever reason, also have red in there that looks kind of like madness. Whoa, whoa, game. Chill. Okay. I see. We really like petrification at the moment. Just oh, game, 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 game. I cannot handle this many enemies and the lag all at once. Oh my goodness, there are a lot of these little fellows. I don't need to sleep before dawn, it's a weekend. What are you... Uh, no, let's start with these. I see, I've upset someone. Oh, and that includes the game. Wow, there just are still more of you. In every direction.
Nope. Okay, that didn't hit for some reason. Cool. Actually hit. Thank you. Goodness gracious. Could I get a map? Oh, game, we just are really chugging. What are you? What? Why am I... Why am I holding a shield? Thing. Weird. Huh. I feel like I have progressed beyond the bounds of where I thought I was earlier. Okay, no, this is just straight through this thing into this area. Got it. Whoa. Where are you? Oh. There's more of you. Okay, still don't know where I am, still not sure what I missed, really could use a map, thank you. Can't look at the map. I'm guessing that has something to do with you. Must there just continue to be more of you? Good now? Hey, all right. Deep root depths. That's where we started. Well, oh, of course, why wouldn't there be more of you? Okay, so we went from here to over here. And that would seem to be our major tree. And now we are over here. Got it. So that would imply, first things first, clear out this side area. You things don't seem super threatening. Hey! Exiled! How goes it? Thank you for the raid. What were you up to today? I am indeed still awake. Somehow. Against perhaps better advice. Was playing MTG? Noise. What were you jamming today? Oh, that's a cave. That's a bear. I've got bad luck against bears on horseback. I got bad luck against bears in general, actually. Yeah. Oh, you are a tanky bear, too. Wow, 
you are way too tanky. Is there any chance you could possibly get paralyzed, maybe? Still more of you, huh? I haven't killed enough of those things to depopulate the entire area yet. Might have been easier if at some point I learned these bears' move sets. Whoa. Okay. Oh, okay. What? Why did that kill me? I had literally just healed, but okay. Oh, that's gonna... That's gonna respawn like 500 of the frogs. I was on half health, but I thought I had just pressed the heal button when I got hit. So I guess I hadn't actually successfully sipped yet. Oh, do, do the frogs actually spawn rather than just exist in the world? That would make a lot more sense as to why there keep being more of them. Where did we even find that bear? Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I kind of thought there would be a way through here into something meaningful. Hmm. Oh, you're still in there. Okay, well, so much for the plan of fighting you in here because that would stop the frogs from getting to me. Hmm. Alright, well, that's not really working. Knock it off. How do you keep getting over walls? Really, what about if you fought the bear that has too much HP? Would that work? Did that actually work? Is the bear dead? Is the bear gone? Did 
the bear, but the bear went back home. The bear has taken no damage. What about up here, bear? Could you get me up here? want you to get up here and then be stuck. Mostly I just want to figure out how to get to the rest of the way through that cave. And I feel like that involves the bear not being there. I mean, alternatively, we could just leave the bear alone. But it's difficult to believe that a bear in a cave, chilling underneath a waterfall, like, things underneath waterfalls, or behind waterfalls, have to be important and secret and good. That's, like, kind of the way this works. That doesn't really go anywhere, huh? You guys don't have heads. That's interesting and new. Whoa, whoa, okay. Well, you don't seem to be particularly important. Still in combat. Can't look at map to figure out where on earth I am. Hmm. You're on a horse. Does that make you cool? What is that noise? Okay. Oh, I see. That gets to become more of a problem after a little bit, if left alone. I feel like I need to kill that thing before I can actually fight this horsey boss. Oh wow, horsey boss platforming over here? Maybe not. Oh, you're one of those instant death headless people, huh? Hmm. You seem to be having a slightly tough time with this particular spot. Oh, you didn't take damage from that. Oh, okay. Well, that's fair, you can knock me. Hey, your horse doesn't have a head. That's cute. I don't get the feeling you just got stronger by being dismounted. Okay, I think I overrated it because they had a horse. That does not actually seem like that was meant to be a truly terrifying encounter. <laughs>
the nameless eternal city. Huh. That's a different eternal city from this one, huh? Although, come to think of it, I should probably go do the rest of this area before I continue with this area that I'm here at. Because <sighs> about two and a half hours ago, we went in a direction that I thought was the side path. And I no longer believe that I had correctly identified that as the side path. I believe I had instead accidentally identified the main path. Okay, so here's the deer we need to wake up. There's the torches we need to light up. But this one's a different deer. Really now? Oh, you're different. You got shiny horns. Okay, okay. Oh, Iron Man and we're dead. I got distracted by the fact that their eyes looked like they were frenzied. But mostly... I just die if I get knocked off my horse. Sometimes eyes do that at night, huh? Hmm. Wait, where am I? Oh, a stake. Huh. Okay. Why is there a stake here? Yeah, hard to tell if it's night or not here, huh? So maybe we just go reclaim these. And then don't really bother with the rest of this, all that stuff. Because I'm invincible while I'm lighting the fire. That's an item. All right, jellyfish, you did not lead me to a secret. You led me to the main path. Feels kind of like a breach of trust, to be entirely honest. That is not how I've been taught to expect jellyfish to work. Where are you looking? Is this, like, somewhere down that I can go to? Oh, it looks like it. Alright. Is that one of you dying, or what? Alright. Ruin 12, fancy, fancy. Okay, so it looks like I gotta go up here. Nope! Or I could die because of horse. Yep. I wonder if you could do that section on foot. That seems like a hard jump to make on a horse.
got all of those now? I lost track of how many I've already done. That might be all four? Well, we'll figure out where this goes first. What? what All right, well, there goes 50,000 runes. Oh, well. That was strange. Not necessarily strange that it was fatal, but strange that I didn't die and then I did after that. Oh, no, goodness. How am I supposed to pronounce this? Anik Lakun? <laughs> Thanks for following. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Oh, that's fair. Okay, so it wasn't lethal fall distance, but then the extra foot and a half off the horse to the ground, that made a lethal. Guess I should have had the cat's fall talisman equipped so that the rest of the fall wouldn't have killed me. Mmm, yep, got those juicy souls back. Okay, to be fair, that wall is actually a lot taller than I remembered it being. Yep, I think I just watched that ghost die exactly the same way I did. Sheesh. magic. Ow, ow, ow. I'm beginning to suspect not a good spot for horse combat. Oh, okay. I kind of thought you were going to be more impressive than that, to be entirely honest. What do we got? Ancestral infant's head? What is that? I thought that was going to be some kind of casting item. Talisman? No? Huh. Weird. Oh, head slot? Maybe. That would be a really creepy place for it to be. Doesn't look like it. Same category as flasks and consumables. Tools? Use FP to... 
Ray Spirit Vapor. Skull of a very young ancestral spirit. Just think of how many sproutings it might bear. At some point, I'm just going to have to sit down and read all the item descriptions for every item I've got. Oh yeah, we do still have this. That's probably a reasonable thing to use, yeah. Hmm, okay. Well, let's teleport here again. Did we actually get all the torch thingies? Maybe. Let's see. I think it was over here. One, two, three. Nope. Still missing one. One torch somewhere. Not this one. Not that one. Not the one over there. Now, geography might lead me to conclude that it would be this one here, but that would be extremely confusing, because that would be four different lit torches. As in, four torches that were all lit. Which would be strange. Oh, or there could be six pedestals and not four pedestals. Ooh. Okay, well, I guess that means I'm missing two. that one? Is this going to kill me? Yes. Yes, it was. Right. Talk to them already. Surely, surely we didn't miss the one that was directly in front of the place we spawned, like, eight times. Okay, stop. Stop doing that so I can keep rolling. Surely the very first, most obvious one wasn't the one we missed. That would be, like, almost embarrassing or something. Spent hours reading items after I finished the game on top of reading many of them when picked up. Still have a long way to go. <laughs> All right. <sighs> what new tricks have deers learned?
right, I forgot how this works. Oh, this music is a lot different than last time. Wait. Okay, we got gimmicks. Wait, what? Okay, what was the point of teleporting to the other side? I mean, I guess I could just mix up all my timings. Okay, surely that's gotta be a... Friend, where are your gimmicks? Oh, okay, you healed. I see. Got it. That's your gimmick. That's a good gimmick. Wait, did you just grab an NPC that's like a little critter that's just chilling here? Oh, okay. That's new. Yeah, you did. You grabbed one of the random little ghost animals. Huh, okay. Remembrance of the real- Whoa! A remembrance? For a non-story boss? Huh. Okay. Oh, now all the animals are dead. Hmm. Okay. Well. I guess that was worth coming back for. Okay, so now we come back here, because apparently I've got a remembrance for whatever reason. Great axe. And I'm assuming a trinket? The Great Axe is kind of cool, I guess. Soul Stifler? What is that? Even me. Well, I definitely have enough stats for it, but... I mean, I guess I'm not going to use it for anything else. What kind of great axery do I have, anyway? If I... Oh... It's the same as my anchor, is it? So you're saying... I could absolutely just do this. Huh. Alright. This will require some testing. Yeah, I wondered if maybe I was going to be a little too heavy. Do I have enough to level up? Not quite. Maybe if I still have those 50,000 runes, maybe then. I missed where to use the imbued keys. Uh, sure. Because I'm probably never going to go back to find it otherwise. Still fat? Yeah, okay. How fat, though? 
like switch out these for something slightly lighter fat. Yes, exactly that fat. <laughs> okay, we can rock this look for a second. to the northwest of the academy. All right, let's go die because this isn't upgraded. Hmm, that doesn't seem to have done much. We can certainly stagger them. <laughs> All right. Maybe we upgrade this and see what happens. This seems stupid enough to be worth doing. Take me for dead a lot. I'm probably going to need more than that, huh? to the northwest of the academy. Wait, this hill? Pretty sure selling the golden runes does not give you as much as popping them. I think it's supposed to be the same. This one? Yeah, 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 it's the same, because this one was 2,500. The one that I didn't sell. That's east? Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. That might be true. In my defense, I just went with, ah uh, yeah, west means left, and then went to the right. Uh, you can't dual wield on a horseback? That's a bummer. Wait, oh no, these guys again? I guess I never actually made it to the top of this thing. I just fought these and then couldn't do enough damage to actually kill them and then ran away. Oh, hello. Pardon me. Hmm. Oh. 
Okay. Now where do these go? Okay. Oh. Okay. So would I be perhaps not unreasonable in guessing this might be why we have pieces of building that have fallen all over the place? Except why are there skeletons inside the buildings? Why? Whoa, hello. Whoa, hello. Oh, you are tanky. Oh, you also look extremely dead. Um, okay. Oh, we don't get a checkpoint up there, huh? Okay. What, the magical city floating in the sky that's torn apart by tornadoes is supposed to not be an early game area? Really? Wrong teleport. Well, there were three other belfries. Maybe we try one of the other ones. I think I have two keys. Ooh. Also, maybe I actually look for a closer respawn point that, you know, might be up here somewhere. Just hazarding a guess. Okay, so we got one, two. That was the lowest first one. Logic would say this would, aha, uh -huh, yeah. Well, that checks out. Top to bottom in order of difficulty, saying that top is most difficult or top is least difficult? <laughs> Oh, or the top is just a chest. Oh, with a key. Well, now. Yeah, I guess I could have found this quite a bit earlier, huh? Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, you're technically four, but you don't actually have... Wait, does that mean I have enough to activate all of these, then? Top is seems familiar. Does it? Hmm. Maybe. Got bells on top. The other two got bells on top, I guess. I guess we can open all three of these and see where they go. Oh. All right, well, that answers the question about how do I get back here from earlier.
nascent butterfly. Didn't that get treated as like a really rare material earlier? All right, well, let's see if Big Axe's stagger. Oh, hello. I fought one of you earlier. Straight Sword, Golden Beast, Crest Shield. I'm guessing you can just get those straight away if you actually kill it at the beginning. We got horse? No horse. Anybody over here? This is the axe from the Deer Remembrance, yes. No messages anywhere over here. Oh, here we go. Good luck. Seek ahead. Hmm. All right. Do we have a real boss fight now then? That's a new door. What do we got in here? Time for door. The Stormhawk King key item. Okay. Ashes of a hawk which heeds no summons. Huh. Okay. <laughs> but you can't use them as actual summons because they say no. Nah. Stormhawk Dina. Except this one's actually a summons. Okay. Oh, that must be so frustrating if you actually look up and see there's a chest up here from the very beginning of the game. Hmm. No, I can immediately teleport away. But now what's the good luck supposed to mean? Because that was it, right? There wasn't a boss? Fight alongside that bird with <laughs> some kind of falcon here thing? Yeah, I could see it. Okay, well, this, I guess, was that it? Part of a quest that you won't be able to do. That I won't be able to do? Wait, am I lo- Oh... Yeah, okay. I think I know exactly whose quest that probably is, then. That still doesn't feel good. Okay. So that was this one. No, that was that one? Technically, I don't think I killed anybody.
Oh, okay. I assume messages are like, um, what's the right word? Connected to, okay. Like what state your game is in? It's so like, I assumed I was getting the messages from the people who were there at the same time as me. But I guess not. What the? Over here this time? This is probably supposed to be a little more special if you find this earlier. But now it's kind of just like the place that I just came from. Model necklace. Talisman? Yeah. Oh, again? All right. I got a new thing to try out on you. Yeah, you still don't care about my fancy double hit, huh? Ow. I really don't want to run off the end of this. Okay, there we go. What about if I do this? Still no stagger. Absolutely just the thickest boy. Oh, too late. Slightly too slow. What? Oh, right. This thing. So bad. Oh, it's cheating. Can you actually stagger these things, or are they just like completely immune? I'm pretty sure I just did a dump, jumping double heavy hammer hit. <laughs> just have a ton of poise. Too much. Too much poise.
Actually, hold on for a second. I got an idea. Well, one. I like some of this. And two. I like some of this. Ooh, hello. Wow. I'm surprised that hit. Okay, so you actually have to, like, really aim with these. Oh. Wow. Rude. Whoa. Why are you capable of hitting me? <sighs> These will never stop being annoying. Okay, I don't think I can actually do this with the two-handed thing. Uh, we did upgrade him. Both of those hammers are as upgraded as we can make them. But, turns out, kind of hard to hit the hits with. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, now we run away. It feels like the first area I can properly actually just leg it to drink all my potions in. I feel like I should probably be abusing that a little more. What? Oh, wait, 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 wait. No. Whoa. Go. Oh. Okay, that's kind of cheating. That's also kind of cheating.
whoa, 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 whoa. I would like to be able to lock on. Still not? Huh. Come on. Ah, the unrepentant cheatiness. Why won't you fall? Come on, surely you must really want to fall. I'm not really interested in fighting you for as long as you keep spamming that gallbladder move. Ah. Oh. No, that was my opening. I needed to just roll towards him when he started doing that. Okay, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Did you lose me? Come on. I'm willing to cheese this however long it takes. What are you doing? Uh-huh. No, oh, come on. All that time and now you do it? Come on. Come on. No. Okay. Whoa, game. Come on. Come on. No? Okay. At this point, I'm just committed. <laughs> the extra fun freezing. Come on. Come on. No? Oh, yes. No, you actually don't fall off from this area. They, like, coated it in? Even though the other area? Huh. Okay. Whoa, game. Whoa, game. Yeah, that's still really stupid. Game. Gosh, that's so dumb.
you gotta hand it to the game. It's understandable that this is where it would stutter. It's a very graphically intense section of the game. Oh yeah, you just slide right over those edges like butter. You were designed to not fall, even though the other one also should have been designed to not fall, but fell anyway. will never stop being the worst. Just never ever. You you didn't even give me anything. You didn't even drop an item. You didn't even give me that many... What? It, there isn't anything here. What did you even have on you? There... <sighs> we just do this and then we leave, huh? Okay. So these keys really don't actually equate to anything, like, super beneficial, as much as just interesting. I was thinking of them like super stoneward keys, and that is apparently not the case. They are just sneak peek screens. Is there really not a way to fall down here without taking damage? Huh. Oh, you can go this way, I guess. Later, nerd. Oh, cool. I got to hyper armor right through that. I didn't even get staggered by that hit. Huh. Okay. Also, I can probably put on pants now that we actually aren't wearing that super thing anymore. And did I get to wear a heavier helmet than this? No, not really. Could wear this Apostle Hood, but that looks really ugly. Okay, and we have Pearl Drake Talisman. Now let's say that. Boosts non-physical damage negation. Greatly boosts magic damage negation. Huh. Okay.
right. Well, I guess that's all we get to do from here. Okay, well, we finished off this. And that left us exploring over here. Okay, well, that's somewhere I haven't been to yet. Smithing Stone 7 is actually kind of useful, though. Please don't kill me. Thank you. Let's try this again. Oh. Uh... Alright, good to know. The fall damage preventers don't prevent damage if you hit something above them. Useful information, technically. In the meantime, we have plenty of those turrets further up. Just shot me. Is there supposed to be a better way off of here somehow? I guess I just need to do a better luck running leap. Why? How are you supposed to get off of that? You can't clear far enough to actually land in the safe zone. <laughs> How am I supposed to get my souls off the top of that tower? If it keeps dumping them on top of the tower. Oh, right, that side path that had an item on it. Right, 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 right. Because that isn't technically death. Hello. Alright, what else we got in terms of ways to go up from here? I'm definitely seeing stuff that is up, mostly in the form of enemies. Aha! You signpost the way up. You are probably worth knocking down. If only because for something so weak, you give an insane amount of experience. Prince of Death's Staff.
That seems like that would have lore attached to it. No? Huh. Very part of the capital Prince of Death. What does it mean to be a very part of the Prince of Death? What on earth does that mean? Or we could just not jump when I press the jump button. <sighs> that is also a way to platform. Turning around, agile maneuvering. Is that an item or no, just a shiny ceiling? Oh, you can turn, huh? No, you can't. It's just this one could. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. You are actually facing this direction. No, 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 horsey. Come on now. Good horsey. Okay, I believe that's where I already was. Oh, hello. But we have been dismounted, which means I'm assuming I'm about to get invaded? That was not really a... Why did I get dismounted? Okay. Well, I'm going to assume this is a boss fight spot. Yeah. That's a lot of bugs. a lot of skeletons. It's a lot of nasty swamp water. It's a lot of those spiky crystal thorn things that were like explicitly death. You got a fish tail. Oh, hello. Fia. Fia? Okay. All right, but where's the rest of the fight? Okay, there we go. Ooh. 
Cool. Why are you so invincible while rolling? Okay, and the next part of the fight? Is the next one D? Okay. Lionel the Lionhearted. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Spooky skulls, go away. Whoa. Uh oh. Ow. 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 Could you stop long enough for. Take a quick sip. Thank you. No! That's too many stabs in a row! How am I supposed to roll through all of them? <sighs> that does not feel like that is even close to the end of the fight either. Which means I'm gonna have to figure out how to do those first ones. Pretty much without taking damage. Hmm. You could get this far without progressing D's quest line, though, if you wanted to. was easier. Oh, come on now. It's no fair if you magically just invulnerability through my attacks. Okay. Slightly easier that time. Oh, it's random. Oh. Other than the named ones, what they end up with is just totally random. going. I don't know how you got ready to be hit by a crit, but there we go. Oh, that's it? I thought there was going to be one more wave. Oh. 
Oh, mostly I just came here and you attacked me. <laughs> All right, chat, which one are we supposed to be going for? What do we think? Are we here to stop something that we didn't actually know what we were stopping? Hugs to unlock her ending. Alright. I've been told. Do I like her? I don't like her terribly much. She did seem to do a lot of murdering, as near as I can put together. Have you ever seen a hallowed When the first of the demigods died, his flesh was marked with the half wall wound of the centipede. Godwin's hallowed has since been recovered at the round table hall. But there is another Okay. Are we convinced the Lord of Death is a bad person? I mean, to be fair, all of the dead people have attacked us, but also everyone else has attacked us too. So like, it's not entirely clear. Thus far, very few people don't suck. And most of the people who don't suck kind of already died. Because of people who suck who I'm not allowed to kill. Yeah, I do not know anything about any of the endings, other than that there are like five of them. Royal Capital. Okay. Where in the royal capital are we? Why in the royal capital am I? Wait, this actually works? I was not expecting this to actually work. Is this another one of those sneak peek zones, or did I actually teleport into, like, the center of an area that I don't actually want to progress to yet? This doesn't really feel like the way I'm supposed to be getting into anywhere. Talkie? Stabby? Okay, stabby. Still not entirely clear why every single person looks exactly the same. This is an actual area, huh? Oh, hello. My utmost thanks for bringing me to the base of the herb tree. Did, can you only, like, follow me? I can govern my own movement, and thus, the accord is fulfilled. I shall depart to ascertain the purpose I was given. Farewell. Oh, okay. I shall leave Torrent and the power to turn wounds into strength here with you i wish you luck in realizing your ambition i don't know what my ambition is long and hard i have no doubt you will become elden lord 
I guess that's technically my ambition. Oh. I feel like it's possible I just change a bunch of world state stuff. I feel like I'm just scanning through like a huge what amount of backlog all at once. Okay. Okay, so if you take off the cape, it gets slightly lighter, but much worse. Yeah, this is one of the chill NPCs that we've actually, like, kind of liked. Okay, I feel like I have done entirely too much here already. And that this is not the way I'm actually supposed to be getting into this zone. Although, if you're going to be here now, then how about I sleep until night? Have you been progressed at all? You are gone. Okay. Well, in that case... Do you know how to get Gideon armor piece? I have no idea what that means. Can you see a friend, by the way? Yeah, but like, did you see my rat buddy anywhere? No, no rat friend. Whoa, maybe... Do you have any clothes? Uh... Did you break him? I think you broke him. Right, because you don't actually have the ability to... Right, so I need to actually be here to do this with the rune to make that work. Otherwise they... In oh, wait, that still doesn't make sense. Oh, hey, there's a treasure chest here. Okay, well...
Huh. Okay, so I guess I can give away a super valuable item to just kill an NPC. Maybe he'll get better. This game sure makes it really easy to kill NPCs. Oh, goodness gracious. And then punishes you. Oh, no, don't say that. Don't say that, then it would make me sad. should have came back and talked to you when that star fell actually upon the dark path only i may tread ah but before i leave i shall entrust thee with this carrion inverted statue my thanks for thy sturdy efforts a strange gift perhaps but a rare sort such as thee would welcome it i'm sure I'd really just prefer to be allowed to kill that other guy. Fate steered us to our reunion. I must thank Torrent too for his part. You may leave now. It was but brief. But thou gavest me fine service. What is it I too am to depart? What is it I too am to depart? Okay. Well, I guess that's that. And uh, okay, you're here still. Oh, very. Have you heard? Lady Rani has departed on her journey along the dark path of Empyrean from Rena's Rise, as she calls it. Okay, thank you for telling me where I should probably go next. Okay. Wait, what are you doing now? No, just hitting a hammer. Okay. All right. So does that mean that other one's finally open? Oh, right. She gave us an item. That's a good point. Probably a key item. There's an inverted statue, something like that. Hidden form of Carrion Study Hall. Oh! Wow. That was a long time ago. Goodness gracious. Mm, so what, are we going to flip gravity upside down?
Are we going to do something to the moon? Well, we still appear to be here. Okay. Well, uh, huh. Oh, more hands. Love them. Love hands. Oh, hey, you're back, huh? That explains the rafters a little more. They seemed kind of weird and unnecessary last time. You want to come closer? No? Oh, running away? But where'd you run to? Whoa. Uh, it didn't hit. Alright. How? How is there a corpse here? I just turned the building upside down. This is the thing that I thought was an enemy last time I was here, who was gonna like crawl up from underneath and never did, that was really confusing. So this corpse was there in the other position, but was still with inverted gravity? That's really confusing as to how that works. I guess the water is, is it just me then? Me and the other people? So only the gravity for people, but not corpses, gets switched. And also a bunch of hands that didn't previously exist just show up. Well, corpses aren't affected, but ghosts are, I guess, come to think of it. Attacks on downward ledges still suck. <laughs> okay. And now I need to work my way up by jumping from chandelier to chandelier and I guess by upwards I mean downwards This is all very Alice in Wonderland-y. So some corpses are upside down and some corpses were right side up.
Okay. All right, so now we're on the ceilingiest of the ceilings. Wait, what happens if I send this lift back and then jump off? Oh, they explicitly made it so I couldn't do that because there's actually a door that I can't get over. <laughs> well, that's a clever way to solve that from their perspective. <laughs> oh, I was really hoping it would get to do the animation. We really like the cutscene rumble on the controller. <laughs> okay, now gravity's back to normal. We're just gonna cut away while our character figures out how that works and lands on their head. So then I guess this area is only accessible if you do that quest? Come to think of it, I'm not entirely sure why I want to be here anyway. What are you? Oh, you're in those God Slayer armor things again, though. And this is that God Slayer Black Flame stuff. Oop. Anybody ever tell you that wearing skin looks really not cool? Ow. Okay, we get a little different when we hit half health, huh? Can we go back to the part where I was just beating you up on horseback and you didn't have any other, like, movesets? Okay. The times that this game decides to give just the most irrelevant NPCs health bars and not give just huh. Oh, you're just... Wow, you just keep doing that, huh? Oh. I'm just gonna pick those up. Yeah, that 70,000. I probably don't want to lose those. And now's where things get bad for me, right? Can I, by any chance, not easily. Ow. Whoa, 
That's an interesting spot to have wound up. Whoa. Game. What? What? Dick. I wonder if the people wearing all the skin of the gods might be related to the people who were trying to solve the mystery of, gee, I wonder who killed demigods? Might that be possibly related? I'm guessing I just can't open this, right? No, I can. Why can I open this? I don't actually have the rune yet, do I? Do I? I thought we decided that the rebirth rune was already active. I mean, maybe this one is the one that's connected to the Rebirth rune, so it's still accessible, even though I don't need to charge a rune anyway. Yeah, that's pretty. more equip load. How much heavier can we get? Not quite maximum heavy, but pretty heavy. Oh, that looks really dumb. Shoot. No fingers? Am I supposed to recognize that somehow? All right, so let's see. We got the centipede thing we were apparently looking for. Ah. Uh, wait, what? No, that's Ranny, not Ranny? Okay, so Ranny's been dead for a while. And died at the same time as Godwin? And the Prince of Death is implied to be Godwin? Or is that... Hmm, that seems to be the implication here. We know the first curse mark supposedly got created when Godwin died. This is implying that the Prince of Death and Rani died at the same time. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Also, I think we had a talisman? 
Raises intelligence. No, it's useless. Drat. Okay, and then... Now we can go to that other tower. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Which raises the question of... Was Godwin the Prince of Death, or did Godwin become the Prince of Death after dying? Rennie also said she stole the Rune of Death. Yeah, that might have... I believe you. Okay, now this door is open. We still have absolutely no idea who Rena is. Other than... Appeared when we were fighting their mom. Ooh. All right, well, we have now discovered where you get the hat. Can I wear the hat? Is the hat good? Please let the hat be good. Please, 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 please be good. Strengthens cold snorcery. No. I think it's probably not good. Hmm. Oh, we look cute, though. Nah, I'm gonna eclipse through the turtle shell. All right. I don't feel quite so bad anymore. How is it that this hood provides more physical damage reduction than... Oh, I guess it's got a bunch of chain mail. Okay. That's how it provides more physical damage reduction than a... Helmet. All right, well, we're going somewhere. Rena is how Rani introduced their themselves, but it's also, I feel like, implied that those are two different people, and it's unclear why she used that name to introduce herself. Miniature Rani. Was just chilling in a... Where am I? Okay, we're here. Okay. Horses. Well, now where are we going? Top. Okay. That seems about right. Talk to her. <laughs> okay, okay. I feel like they were repeating their dialogue, though. A dogged fellow, aren't we? You have to get them to repeat the dialogue three times. Oh no. I hadn't expected any soul to recognize me in this guise, but now the cat is out the bag. Not allow thee thy freedoms. Perform okay. for me a service as recompense. Eliminate the baleful shadows which prowl these lands. The name of Rani the Witch is already sullied by thee. What? I will not brook disobedience in this matter. Perform for me. Eliminate the name of Rani. I will not. It doesn't entirely even seem like the same person. Hmm. Okay, we 
can't go that direction. Yeah, following quest lines in this game does seem a little ludicrous, huh? She's just mad you're talking to dolls. I mean, I... I guess? Am I supposed to have sullied her name by virtue of being in her employment and being a crazy person who talks to dolls too much? Wow. You do not get broken. Oh, that thing again. Great. I loved this the last time we did it. me nerds can you hit me when I'm directly under you Yes, you can. All right, you know what? Better plan. Let's kill all the nerds first. Ow. Oh, that didn't work. Whoa, really? I don't know why I thought the jumping would solve that attack. take much in the way of like wind up on that if you don't want to. Wait. <gasps> Yay. Yeah, I, I assume that this part actually would get there eventually, where you're not really supposed to talk to the doll a bunch of times in a row. It's just expecting you to double check after a bunch of different parts of major progress. But I also guess that means that you're supposed to be able to talk to the doll at a random fireplace. So I guess dark shadows that prowl these lands doesn't literally mean this spot where we just found the doll. Which also makes it really unclear what dark shadow that prowls these lands is supposed to mean.
Oh, right, I need to do a jumping strong heavy attack. If I want to stagger. Oh, can you only talk to the doll at the races in this area? Whoa, where did all of you spawn in from? Oh. Right. I forgot to double check that that was building up. Ooh, ooh, ow. Okay. I've never actually gotten hit by that before, and I kind of did not expect it to actually do that much damage. Talking to an NPC multiple times until they repeat the dialogue is entirely natural. It's just deeply... I don't know what, cruel? Mean? That it takes one more than normal? I guess that's why they made it three instead of two. I'm actually really not going to bother this time. I really want my horse. This is a lot of running around to do. Or my map? Could I have my map back? That said, it's also really unclear why she suddenly upset at me. Was I not supposed to follow? Wait. Water side. <laughs> I was gonna say, did they really have water slide in here? She didn't ask me to follow, sure, but she didn't say I couldn't and she left the door open. Like, what part of me following is rude? I mean, I've been down here to this area plenty of times. Not this precise part of this area, but, like, the general area. sucks. Yep. That egg was extremely good at holding me in a spot. That would make sense. That would make sense. I mean, I don't know what exactly her plan was. Did she teleport it over here and then just was a doll? Stuck in a coffin that couldn't do anything? That now has a knife that can kill gods, I guess, maybe? But 
but gave me the key to her corpse for whatever reason. Ow. Wow, that does a lot of damage. When these ants aren't being chain stunned, they're actually pretty annoying. Ow. Oh my goodness. That's so much damage. Why do you do like a billion infinity damage? Ooh, can we maybe kill Salubis by now? That would be exciting if so. Yeah, so the body we met was a larger doll. What I'm trying to think of is, did it specify the size of the doll we just found? Or is the implication that we found just the same body she was using before? Take care, Chewin. Thanks for hanging out. Whoa. Wow, that's all of my health. Jeez. Goodness gravy. Okay, so this is back towards that spot where I couldn't figure out where it was coming out earlier. Wait, what? No, 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 no. I'm supposed to be able to get in. Oh, okay. I see. We can keep going. Who puts a chest here? Wing of Astol. Looks like another one of them nerd items. Hmm. Aha! There we go. there continue to be candles in areas like this that are lit with all the ants are the ants lighting the candles it's unclear and somehow from down river this is where all the coffins wind up because people are shipping giant stone coffins down river and the implication is the giant stone coffins float until they hit this building 
Hmm. Noxtella. So there's a bunch of different Eternal Cities, I guess. And they all got different names. And it's unclear what makes an Eternal City different from anything else. And it's also unclear who lives in the Eternal Cities. Other than giant dead people. And mud golems. And silver. And ants. That's true. You got anything new to say? Oh! Two fingers and I have been cursing each other ever since. And the baleful shadows are their assassins. Okay. That's a lot of lore. And we have each been cursing the other since. The baleful shadow. Okay. So we're here to kill baleful assassins that may or may not be ants. Can we equip cooler helmet yet? No. Oh. I still... Okay, so you wanted a dagger that could kill... something. I forget what. And the implication is, then, that the people in these cities successfully killed something you were looking to kill. And you stole a rune of death, whatever that means, which let you kill yourself. Which turned you into a spirit that could possess puppets. That is a person riding an ant. I hate it. Well, at least that explains why there's ants here. These people seem to be like the closest guesses I've got to the people who actually lived in these cities. Because it does not seem like the ghost deer people actually lived in these cities. Because they're not actually in any of the cities. We saw them have a church in the one Roddy area. In the Magic City in the one Roddy area, specifically. Are you a chest? No, you just look like one. Are you a chest? On account of not being destructible. Aha! You are a real chess, unlike all the other chests in here that were fake. Hints, skull... Oh, hello. Are you waiting for me to open that? Oh, hello. Ow. Oh, hello. They're actually kind of good at dodging. Okay, 
Enhanced skull plate. What do we got? Anything interesting? Not really. <sighs> Still got nothing better than stamina regen. I guess at some point, maybe I could unequip this stamina regen. In the interest of wearing heavier armor? That really would be killing the look, though, wouldn't Okay. Okay, can I hit you without hurting myself? Wow. Okay. 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 Oh, they explode when they die and they kill one another. Okay. Sure, why not? Which direction am I supposed to go? Three-way forks are evil. Oh, I can summon a squad of archers now? Huh. Oh, hello, you figured out how to copy the ant shield head, huh? Yeah, you're much scarier than the other versions in that case. How do I get around to that? It doesn't look like it goes anywhere. Oh, wow. Whoa, you got to attack again real fast. It doesn't normally feel like that's how that goes. Whoa. Why didn't you get hit? This sucks. Wow, this sucks a lot. Whoa. Oh, you got a little bit of hop on that one. Do they just go over me if I'm really close to them? No, only if I'm ducking because I'm swinging. Huh. Okay. That's weird. This one's another real chest. Ooh. All right. I should I've got, like, a ton of ball bearings. I should probably deposit those at the shop at some point. <sighs> okay. Well, that's two of our paths down. Okay. Well, there's a path. And here is also a path? How much further does this path go? This path goes a good way further? Oh, just infinity further. Okay. All right. Well, we got a lot of stone sword keys, and it's been a while since we've seen a way to use them. So let's go ahead and find out what's in here. Oh, right. What you got for me? 
Ow. Ooh. Ooh. You pop me out of the air. Okay. More sarcophaguses. Getting to the point where I'm suspicious there might be more sarcophaguses in this game than, like, actual enemies, even? Night Maiden and Swordstress. Huh. Okay. Now we get a balcony we can jump off of. Coach JBK, thanks for the follow. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Uh, okay, and this is where we were at earlier. Got it, got it, got it. Where did you come from? Can I, like, loop around behind you and hit you? Oh, yeah, I can. I should be doing that. Wow, that's a good idea. Ooh. How many more on the ceiling are there? Any? Didn't look like any. That must be one of the corpses we killed in the room up above. More somber smithing stone sevens. Yeah, we'll be able to upgrade this sword when we get out of here. I still feel like I haven't actually explored the ground. Maybe I should be exploring the ground first? But there's a lot of ground, goodness gracious. There's a lot of up above, but there's a lot of below, too. Ow. You know, I thought I was going to be able to roll through that. It did not turn out that I could roll through that. More tears. Okay. I feel like I'm prepared to get ambushed in here. I was not prepared to get ambushed from behind by a giant ball. Really, I don't know what's wrong with me. Frankly, that should have been, like, one of the first things that was on my radar. Another dollar tier? Wow. Okay, those are not limited in the slightest. More great ghost glove warts. It's so weird that the game decides to give you the highest tier upgrade material in, like, Plethora? Before it gives you the lower level stuff to get there? I wonder if there's like a lore justification for that or if like that's just some weird idea of like this is exciting to players if we do it this way. I don't know that I disagree with that logic, it just... I wonder how you come to that conclusion. Okay. What's it going to be this time? Oh, 
And now we run away and those just all explode on one another? No, why didn't you explode? That time we exploded. I guess not every single one explodes. Okay, so we're just gonna keep going. Didn't really work as well as I was hoping. You weren't even moving fast! Okay, I guess this thing just does a certain amount of damage once it's up to any speed at all. I thought that it did damage based on its speed and that if I jumped towards it, it wouldn't do as much damage. But to would seem that is not how this functions. This is bad. Thank you. The giant balls respawn, huh? Do not drop new tears every time. Oh, I see. The ball was literally up there the whole time. that far away. There we go. There's our giant ball. Where are you going? Where are you going? Giant ball? Giant ball friend? How are you doing over there? Are you gonna come help me with these at all? I want to go past these so I can hit them from behind to get over the shields, but then I get the feeling the ball is actually going to aggro and kill me. Oh.
I thought I wasn't going to be able to get hit by that, but apparently I can get hit if they're far enough away. I can only get invincible while swinging when they're close. There's an unlimited amount of upgrade mats up to plus 9, but plus 10 has always been limited. Okay, so is it normal that you end up getting a lot of plus 10s before you get the ability to get to plus 9 then? I guess I could just go through this and not actually stop. Did I double check over here at all, by the way? Maybe. But we're done with it now. Okay, and what about Giant Ball Friend? Where did Giant Ball Friend go? What? Did it just despawn while I wasn't looking? Huh. Dead end ahead, huh? I mean, I believe you. Yeah, okay. Sometimes you just gotta double check. Okay, so that... Oh yeah, let's grab these. That's probably a good idea. Alright, what if I... Whoa, laggedy a little bit. What if I just went this way and saw... Okay, so this continues on in this direction. explode? I'm just not lucky today, huh? Are these giant balls the same silver metal that's making those little blobs? Except this time around it's actually hardened? That would explain why it's dropping these little silver balls. Or, well, blobs. Actually, come to think of it, the implication would also be that these larval tears... You know what? Considering they're called silver tears... I'm going to guess the larval tiers actually do have something to do with these silver balls. As opposed to them just, like, randomly dropping from them for some reason. I'm going to guess there's some sort of correlation here. That only took me, like, ten hours to put together. Have I read the description of the larval tiers? I don't think I have.
I've not read the description of a lot of things. Core of a creature of mimicry known as a silver tear. Ah. Ah. All right. Well, there you go. Okay, now opening that door. Okay, well, this turned out to be a dead end. And here I thought that was progress. I'm very bad at telling which directions are actually progress and which directions are dead ends. Okay, at this point, I'm pretty confident I was supposed to explore on the ground before doing up above. Maybe. Whoa, hello. You were really hiding in that bush right there, weren't you? Oh, you weren't even, a. Uh... Huh. Okay. Yeah, these things are still creepy and still don't make sense. Okay, big throne. What? Are ye... Oh, I see. You're the people kind. Whoa! <sighs> okay. I got way too distracted and freaked out by the person behind me who was, it turns out, only a ghost! And not an actual enemy coming up from behind me at all. Oh, goodness gracious. But the further I get, the further I have to commit to just sprinting to go get my money back. Nope, nope, that's bad. Stop it. Knock it off. I'm still super curious to know where this ball managed to end up last time. into head. Wait, are you trying to tell me that maybe I was actually right and that this entire super long path was a dead end and that I was supposed to come here before exploring the ground? I would love to believe it. I want to believe it. A ladder? No. Doesn't look like much of a dead end, though. It also doesn't look like a grace. <coughs> By any chance, do you want to come over here without your tears noticing? They noticed. Oh, yep. Cool. You get to swing a super heavy sword that staggers me. Cool. All right. All right. <sighs> I 
I would really love to have access to my horse right about now. Oh, no, 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 no. You actually get your... <sighs> hitbox that stops me from going any further. If you decide to explode. second. I just remembered, we still have this. Probably use a little bit of extra HP, for whatever reason. and then we're gonna run away and see who's the fastest at following me. It's you! You win! You can apparently do that faster than I can. You can... Wow, why do you swing so fast? Why do you swing so fast? Holy cow, you're beating me to the punch every time. Why are you so strong? Holy cow. Jeez, the range on that's absurd too. Jeez. Okay, that was a little crazy. What the? I don't know why I rolled. I thought I was pressing jump. Keep your hitbox running, huh? Alright, now you. You are not so big a deal. What you got in the chest? Moon of Noxtella. Was that a shield? It certainly looked like one.
An amulet that increases memory slots. I don't know what a memory slot is. I'd like to believe that allows me to have another save slot, but I don't think that's what it is. Alright, and a lift. Going down, connecting back to where we just were so I can explore the ground, maybe? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe actually, though. Hmm. I still really wish I could have my horse. Alright, well, we can go down there too. Because the areas aren't big enough. Never big enough. Gotta be able to go to more places. Gotta make me more lost. Increases the number of spells you can carry. Ah. It's ants again, huh? Why is it always got to be ants? Okay, so it looks like I couldn't have gotten here. Actually... Is that seed the only thing that elevator brought me to? Other than just looping around? It seems like that's the only thing that was up here. And everything else is just a spot where I can drop off. Huh. Well, that does seem to be the case. More stone sword keys. Still got more of them than I need. Buying those stone sword keys at merchants aggressively, I guess maybe if you're doing a lot more exploring and keep finding places to use them in like side dungeons, they would be getting used up faster. Whoa, hello. Why are you so much weaker than the shield-headed versions? Shield-headed versions did like half my life in one hit. You're doing nothing. I still don't know why I'm collecting things so aggressively when I've never used a single one. Glove Ward 8, I think, is actually a new one. Crystal Snails again. Whoa, hello. Why is your ant purple? Hmm. 
beginning to think I'm not successfully looping back around to where my grace was earlier. There it is. Yeah, okay. This is, in fact, safe. Ant riding mimics. I don't think those clergy are mimics. Maybe they are. I didn't get that impression though. All right, can I wear that helmet yet? I can. Boys up to 58. Do, 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 do. Now, when I can get up to this, I can have 60 poise, and we can hope that is meaningful. The more successful Mimic Tears? Maybe. I kind of just assumed they were the people, you know, living in the city. You can't really see anything about their actual face or skin to guess. Huh. Yeah, the Mimics don't seem to really care about wearing clothing. Or at least it's not a particularly high priority. Oh wait, okay, we can actually, yeah, 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 we can kind of see their face. But I guess it's a little silvery still. Checking out all the areas, trying to find random items. I would not mind if I could, like, turn off the crazy hair physics on this helmet, because it's definitely thick enough that it's the correct helmet for me to be wearing, but <laughs> me and everybody else with the giant frizzled hair. Pardon me. Wait, what did I say? Trap ahead. Oh, oh, no kidding. A trap ahead on literally nothing. That's just extra rude, huh? Okay, I don't think I went up this staircase already. Is that... What is that? Are you... anything? You're just really pretty frosty flowers. Oh, is there a door up there? Uh, I don't think so, but we can double check. There is, however, a door here. And a chest here, too. There might be a door. I'm willing to believe it. Oh, 
Oh. Nine gets us pretty close to ten. And I'm assuming by snakes you mean the snail things over here. It would make more sense for there to be something here than for there to be nothing here. But these do not appear to be doors, and it does appear to mostly be nothing. Truly wild. And these ones were just mostly guarding that item. Shoe. Huh. Anything this way? Maybe. Oh, no, that's that area we fought in earlier. Huh, okay. This. Did I do this already? Maybe. I don't remember doing this, but it certainly seems empty enough now. entirely unnecessary. Neat. Okay. Wait, where is this? Where is this? Wait. But there was more. Where is this now? You trying to tell me I went down again? Even when I turned my back upon life and death. Oh, this is new. I mean, this world does seem to be mostly kind of sort of dead, so I suppose it's not really too bad of an idea to do something new instead. I don't know, are we supposed to, like, get the impression that there's no civilian population remaining? Or is that kind of just a contrivance of the game and we're supposed to believe that these cities are still technically populated in the areas we're not seeing. More ant nests. Okay, and this direction is also nothing? I get the feeling I should be teleporting back up to explore the rest of that area that I was just at. Seems familiar. Whoa. 
Why is this supposed to seem familiar? Okay, Baleful Shadow, lots of red. That's a cool line. Send me out of it, why don't you? Jeez, okay. You do real damage. So are you ready? That was a really cool line you gave. And then I died. Hope he didn't use up all the really cool lines on the very first attempt. Oh, I should probably pick that up. Okay, you get to do cheats, too. Wow. Okay. Jeez. Why is my HP... Why don't you have enchanted with that that's making my HP go down after you hit me? Okay. Okay, chill for a second. Chill for a second. Chill for a second. You keep saying that, but, like... Oh. Yeah, you don't seem like a bad person. You like people who are nice. Hmm. Oh. Guess not. All right, well, now where to?
down again. I really gotta teleport back. <laughs> right. Yeah, we saw this world. Reading the key's description. That's eh, probably worth doing. Is it a literal key? Oh, okay. We did just discover the existence of that chest. So that's entirely reasonable to go look at now, isn't it? <sighs> I feel like a while ago I was supposed to have some goal of like going and getting a bunch of runes for some reason. Now it kind of feels like that's been sort of discarded as a plan in favor of, like, killing gods. Did we crash? We crashed. Unable to sink. Okay, there we go. Wow, that's an extremely white screen for some reason. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm willing to believe that the game did not end correctly on the last one. Let's see if we can successfully read the book this... Well, not read the book. Read the... Uh, what is it? Open the chest. And what about our... Oh, you're in a different position now. And... Now you're dead. Alright. Well, admittedly, I kind of probably screwed up giving you that tier. That was my bad. Just because it would probably work for me does not mean it would work for anybody else. Dark Moon Ring Key Item... Okay, well, now what? Where is... I mean, I definitely called it a key item. There it is. Ring depicting a leaden full moon, symbolic of a cold oath ring is supposed to be given by Luna Princess Rani to her consort. Rani is an Empyrean, meaning her consort would by rights earn the title of Lord. Warning is engraved within. Whoever thou mayest be, take not the ring from this place. The solitude beyond the night is better mine alone. <laughs> okay. nerdy, but fair enough. <laughs> Is that how getting a wife works? I'm not sure that's how getting a wife works. Okay, let's see. So it was here? It's 
still never actually figured out how to get up here. But up here was where we hadn't cleared out the grounds yet. No. Here was where we hadn't cleared out all the grounds yet. No, wait, I did clear out all the grounds. Why did I think I didn't do that? Was it somewhere further up that I hadn't done that? Ah, uh, whatever. If I've missed something, then something has been missed. Tis not the end of the world. Horse? Uh, okay. <sighs> yeah, let's just live with this. I guess this is my life now. Kind of weird that a flower can just be growing here, but all right. How are you? How did you get here? Whoa. It is really unclear how this stuff works. But apparently you're fine in it. So, okay. You also fine? Uh. Okay. I am very unclear as to the mechanics of this world. Some NPCs seem to dislike this stuff a lot. Oh, all right, well that's helpful, probably. Some NPCs seem to not care about this stuff in the slightest. Well, I can probably pop that. Slightly offset some of this, just a tiny bit. Chug more drink. Why are you just chilling here? Immunizing horn charm plus one. All right, well, I guess that actually probably helps explain a little bit. That you can apparently just be immune to this stuff if you try hard enough. Go grab some butterflies while we're here. Don't got anything particularly better to be doing with my time. Oh. All right, well, that seems useful. I mean, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to come back and fight you later when I'm not, hopefully, pretty much entirely dead. On account of me already being basically already entirely dead. Okay, well. Fair.
Okay, let's take a look at some of those thingies. Immunizing horn charm plus one, huh? So immunity is what we most care about here by the looks of it. Well, this looks absolutely awful. Cool. Alright. Now, how much does all of this allow me to just tank this? Read the Scarab's description. Kind of sucks. But it does still give immunity. Wow. All right. I'm beginning to no longer suspect that immunity matters very much. That was maxed out as much immunity as I could possibly handle. It still didn't do anything. This one, and uh, that one can probably stay instead of the decks. I wonder, do I have some kind of consumable that isn't that? Soap gets her to poison, but not rot. Interesting to know. This seems perhaps a little miserable. I suspect once again I have to just not care. Wonder, does immunity only prevent the buildup or does it reduce the amount of damage that it does too? I do not have well, I didn't really bother learning any incantations. Only build up. So basically useless.
Raising these platforms seems like it would be meaningful if, like, I had the capacity to make it out here without... Oh, wait, no, those are different platforms. Oh. Okay. Okay. Does that mean I'm supposed to just take sprints to raise all these platforms so that on a future journey I can actually hopscotch my way across without getting super poisoned? Maybe. Maybe that's the goal. gonna die. Well, it was nice while it lasted. Oh, I should probably not die up there, actually. Well, no, I don't think I had any currency on me anyway. <laughs> okay. So I need to keep a better eye out for those little... Thingies like that. Wait, did I somehow get onto this and then not press this switch? Oh. Well, I'm silly. This is probably a lot more doable than the way I was brute forcing it. Huh. this one that was this one okay well let's check the crafting menu then oh what other fancy stuff do I have huge amount, but... At the very least, I can now spam those. I doubt I'm gonna get too many better options to use this. been to that one? I suspect I have. Okay. And that's our dragon over there. Okay, what if we just run over to the dragon and then pop one of these anti-rot pills? feel like doing this fight again. So let's try to get it in one. Oh yeah, I should do this. Do you want to come over here? Thank you. No? There we go.
Whoop. Okay. Out of stamina, apparently. I don't know how, because I didn't attack any at all. Come on. Over here. No, come on. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's very bad. Oh, come on. Really? I I'm trying here. Work with me. That's a lot of damage. Still, seems pretty doable. Summoning the NPC actually seemed a little useless, to be honest, though. Where? Oh, okay. There weren't anything over there. It was all over this way. We've been live for a while. <laughs> I probably ought to get to sleep soon. Well, we can chill and wait off the build up for a little bit. So we got this direction we want to go in. Actually, that is... Why is this directly under... Right underneath Rhea Lucaria, there's a giant ocean of rot? Not even, like, under Kaelid, where all the rot is at. Why under here? Huh. That's certainly a strange one. Oh, you suck. Do you just want to stay down there for the time being? While I let all these things tick away? You just want to not aggro for whatever reason? That'd be just absolutely wonderful of you. Thank you. person was one handing their sword with a bow in the other hand. I can't imagine that was intentional. Gotta admit, this is not the most riveting gameplay. Okay, time to go. Alright, 
Time to sit and wait again. That one already been pressed, right? Yeah, it looks already pressed. Which direction was I supposed to be going now? I think that's where I came from. You, this direction. Give up on waiting. And then we're gonna summon this thing. And then we're gonna pop this item. And then we're gonna pop this item. Oh, that's not. Huh. What item did I forget to equip? I thought I didn't take off. I thought I took off the dexterity one, but I didn't. Oh, it must have been like max FP or something. Okay, summons, if you want to tank him in the middle of that pit, that's not really helpful to me. Feels like it would be a nice time to have a ranged weapon, to be entirely honest with you. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You actually get a second attack off that now. Unlike before. Stop fighting my summon where I can't do anything about it. Very rude. No. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Over here. Whoa. Okay. That's new. I think. Oh. There we go. All right. That was very silly. Dragon scale blade. What is that? Not any of these. Not any of this. A katana. Oh, okay. Ice lightning. Oh, that's the ability. All right, well. Yeah, that's certainly a katana.
I guess. And now where am I supposed to go? This direction, I suppose? Have I already been over there? I honestly can't tell. I've completely lost track. Has that been pressed? That looks like that's been pressed. Okay, I don't think I've gone over to the ruins yet. I guess I can go back to just shoving potions in my face as I die at this point. Oh, although I do actually have a ton of souls now. So maybe that's a bad idea. You know what? Actually, let's go deposit those. And come to think of it, on account of it being 8.30 a.m., maybe we call it here, too. Well, actually, let's pop enough runes to level up. enough? Mm, probably not. I'm guessing this would be. Oh, wow. Way more than enough. Okay, maybe we're gonna get two then. use all of these. Okay, we can maybe get three. I didn't realize I was sitting on so many of those items. And now we're still close to one more. Alright, actually, is this enough endurance to equip, like, absolutely all of the maxed out gear? Yeah, it is. And this was what? Raising maximum stamina? Yeah, I think that's what it was. Okay, so I guess I actually don't need endurance anymore. Which I guess means I can just pop the rest of these. And start pumping strength again? Now that we finally have 60 poise? Which I assume is a break point for something? Probably? Right? 60 is what we have now? Yes, 60 poise, which may do something. And we need to level up strength a little bit. Now we can go back to trying to just do more damage with our big sword. And then, because I'm going to forget tomorrow, otherwise, go back to the blacksmith. Oh, actually, we can go to a different blacksmith. On account of... Ooh, we did get explicitly told to go tell E.G. that he is loved. That seems like an appropriate thing to go do. Well, okay. Well, kind of expected you to have something to say about that, but I guess not. Yeah. 
Wait, what is that? Oh, does that peek into my skills? Ah. Ancient dragon smithing stone. Oh, now there's something for you. What on earth does that mean? I have no idea. But I bet my sword does a lot of damage now. As I think we just upgraded it from plus six to plus nine in one go. I really want to try smacking something with this. But that will be for a different day. For the time being, we can system out and quit game. And that'll be it for today, folks. I assume I'm probably going to be doing this again later today. I'll see y'all then. But to those of you who are still here and awake, good night. Or good morning, I guess, maybe for some folks, technically. I mean, technically not everybody's as just absolutely loathsome towards their sleep schedule as I'm being. <laughs> Take care. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, indeed. <laughs> Sayonara.